Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. There you go. Alright, where you at, Eddie? Where the fuck you at, Eddie? There you go. Eddie Gordo. Eddie Gordo. Eddie Gordo. Eddie Gordo. Hold up a second. <clears throat> All right. Get ready for the next battle. battle. Oh, I forgot about my frame data tab, but whatever. We don't need that shit right now. What's up, Pinka Top 2? How's it going? Let me know the difference between my voice and the music, please, because my mic is all the way over here. And it used to be a lot closer. Now, it's all the way back here. So, I'm still not used to like mixing the music along with the mic. So, it's a long time coming for me to finally go back to this. Uh, I did do some Eddie a long time ago, but I wasn't really feeling it. Not a lot of people are watching. But now I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I promise I'm going to do it. So, I'm doing it. I do remember some things from last time. Though. Sounds good? Thank you. Hey, why did you get unmodded? I ain't unmod you. I think it's just the chat acting up. Twitch is acting up today. Um, so yeah, quick little run through about what I know about Eddie and what most people know about Eddie. He is a high risk character, high risk mix up character. But the thing about him being high risk is you have to know how to punish him, which is generally in regards to second unorthodox. But he has some strong mix up. He has a strong mix up game. And obviously, he's very evasive. His punishment game is kind of uh, weak until you get to launch status. Which is to say, 13 frame while standing launch. Sorry, not that one. That, no, not that. That's a 13 frame while standing launcher, but it's a high. So, something like Dragonos down 2, which is 13 frames on, negative 13 on block. He cannot launch it, because Dragon Ever Cover is crouching. But, stuff like, you know, uh, low pokes that are negative 13, negative 14, he can launch it with that. So that's a way above average, obviously. Uh, and he does have like a 15 frame launch for standing, which is that. It's just horribly unsafe on block. But before that, his punishment game is fucking weak. So uh, another thing is, he can't sidestep. Commonly known thing, but just in case you don't know it, now you know. His sidestep, he can. But when I say he can't sidestep, I'm like, it's hyperbole. He can, uh, as, as you can see, but it's very weak. So he has to rely a lot more on his built-in moves up close. His backdash, however, is fucking fan fucking tastic, right? A lot really good spacing. And uh, his default stance does move his hurt box around. And this could cause some really fucking weird shit to happen. It causes bad shit to happen on both sides. In some instances, last time I was doing this, some of my moves were missing because as Eddie because of his stance like this, depending on what angle he's standing at during the stance. It's fucking weird. It makes weird shit happen for both sides, Eddie and the opponent, right? So you kind of, it's something that you can cut, kind of put in the back of your mind, but it's not really something you can totally account for. In general, like, you know, shit will work pretty consistently with Eddie. He's just, it's just a weird quirk about the character, right? That you got to know going in. Um, and, you know, everybody knows he has uh, two stances. Wait, handstand? Yeah, two stances, relaxed stance. Uh, which is Negativa and the move list. And of course, Handstand. Those are the big two. Uh, thanks to the armor system in this game, Handstand is a little bit stronger, I would say. A little bit has like, you know. Because before, the thing about Handstand is it was a lot easier to float him. Now, people have to account for his armor to float him. So it's not as easy. Or they have to use different moves because of the armor move. That's another thing to know up front. Uh, so, let's get to it. I don't have my tab up. For the frame data, because I lost it. I lost the website, and apparently RB Norway is down right now. So I'm gonna use the Tekken bot and hope that it's right. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do it like this, starting with the jabs. One, two elbows. How do I do this shit again? Uh, display in game, right? So you know, a, a standard. Uh, oh, Tekken bot. Tekken bot. Did Tekken get updated? Please don't tell me Tekken got updated. Oh, uh, Tekken got updated, didn't it? Let me try restarting the Tekken bot. Hold on. Uh, let me 
closest. I'm gonna reopen it right now. This shit was just working a few days ago. Right. Okay, it's working now. Let me make the uh, OBS see it now. There we go. All right. So you guys can see the second bot up top in the middle, right? All right, so we start with a typical, he has his typical standing one jab, plus one on block, plus eight on hit, 10 frames, nothing special, right? Uh, you, could, you could do forward one with him because he doesn't have forward one as a move. It seems pretty average jab range. Although I just noticed that he's chopping you like this with his hand open. He's like going like that, which is a little weird. Uh, standard one, two, 19 damage, plus four. Uh, negative four on block, which is actually worse than usual, I think. I think it's generally negative one on block, aren't they? Whatever. That's fine, because he has uh, extensions off of this. All right, cool. So one, two, forward to go into handstand. Now here it says negative 20. I don't, I don't know if that's right. Uh, the hand, the fastest handstand option is the big kicks, right? I think so. So let's see. So of course on block, I don't think he's gonna get anything. But on hit, yeah, on hit, that's gonna frame trap. Okay. So on hit, handstand, you have a frame trap. It's in the mid. Uh, on block. Okay, jab's gonna work. 13 frames works. Uh, what's 14? I need 14 frames. There it goes. Forgot about the infamous 14 frame move. All right, at 14 frames exchange on block. So it's still neg uh, that's a 12 frame mid. So it's negative two. Exchange of a 14 frames, negative two on block to go into handstand. Um. Eighteen frames. That looks like a crush. That's probably a crush. Uh Alright, well, at best, this is beating out... This 18-frame mid is beating out a uh, 13-frame move, but it loses to Crouch Jab. So it's somewhere in that window. So even then, it crushes high jab, so that's a solid option. Either way goes, you have good advantage going off of this, go, going to handstand. And as long as you get them afraid to press, you could actually kind of really mix them up. You go into handstand and say, relax, force your mix-ups, right? All right, next. Ah, yes, this garbage. So this is high, 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 I think, right? Okay, this is just the stance. It's not the kick. So it's <coughs> that front flip, <coughs> one, two, four. You can obviously get floated out of this, but the thing that stops is you press four, four. You get that high, right? Yeah, that high. To make people hesitate from floating you. It's not a counter history. There's no counter hit properties on it. It's just a high damage high. This is one, two, four, whoops, wrong way. Wow, it actually doesn't say it here. 
Whatever, I know this has two follow-ups, so one, two, four, four is that high kick. Uh, negative three according to the Tekken bot. And it pushes back. But it's a high, they can duck it. I don't know if they can float you if they duck it. I'm assuming they can, we'll see. Yep, they sure can. Woo! Oh, Young Pete hosting my stream. Thank you very much. Now everybody's gonna learn something. So you probably can't float if you duck the hobby. You gotta be fucking fast, right? And if you're not sure of your speed, then my suggestion, if you were to punish something like this, would be hit him grounded, right? With whatever you, your character may have, if you're trying to punish this. Either way, this is some gimmicky shit to stop people from punching you out of the flip. Because if you get punched out of the flip, you're gonna get floated into a juggle, right? Of course. And the cool thing about this is, uh, about punishing this, is you can easily time it to where he would have thrown a kick, you would block it, and still swing pretty late with a jab, and you would still float him. So this is just some gimmicky shit, right? Uh, I know he has a low out of this, but as far as the actual input... I forgot the... Okay, it's three. Now... The purpose of this is I know he can do the flip and land on into relax. I don't know the input for that though. But the low knocks down on normal hit. And I don't know if he has a free follow-up. Doesn't look like it. Because it looks like the follow-up whips, right? Sorry for spamming the chat earlier. You spammed the chat? I didn't notice you spamming the chat. Either way it goes, it's all good. I didn't see any chat spam. Yeah, no, Twitch is fucked up. Twitch has been fucked up. Like, I was about to stream this way earlier, and then Twitch just completely fell apart, I'm assuming because of AGDQ. Or maybe that Tyler guy that people were talking about, I don't know. Alright, back to the issue at hand here, though. Um, I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't list the follow-ups. By the way, let's see what that is on block. Going to this, plus four, I don't think that's right. I don't think it's right at all. What's his fastest option out of this? 15 frame min, maybe? 17, 21, so the 15 frame mid. Let's see what happens. Uh, one, two, four, three, four. One, two, four, three. What? Fuck it, come on, man. Alright. Alright. Holy shit, it's plus four. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Yeah, I heard it's good on mobile. Was it the windmill back in Tekken 3 or whatever it was? Wasn't it the windmill? What do you mean the windmill? Uh, always so is you. Hey Manny, what's up? Didn't show. Oh, all the Hey Manny, what's up? Didn't show. Nah, you see it. Maybe my chat is bugging out. So anyway, apparently this is really plus four because my 11 frame while standing four is exchanging with his uh, 15 frame relaxed four. I ain't even know this. That's pretty weird. People low parry this though, so it's like you know, it's gimmicky shit that you can fuck up people that don't know the matchup or just new people. But it's not, you know, it's worth knowing. It's worth knowing on both ends if you're fighting against Eddie or if you're using the Eddie. Uh, that's plus four on block. That's like a thing that's like doesn't happen. A plus on block low, like what the fuck? It's not Street Fighter, right? Or KOF. Anyway, um, right. So there's a way for him to land in relax without doing the low, and I don't know how to do that. Shit. Well, whatever. Uh, he can recover crouching, apparently. Not that that's really all that meaningful. Either way it goes, we're going move by move here, so. Next. One, three. Ah, yes, this is a popular way to go into handstand. I don't know the actual frame data, but in this case, it doesn't really matter because look how much space he's creating, right? You got to chase him down, and then we know he has an arm move from handstand. So chasing him down is a risk. So in general, and then, you know, he just holds, um... I believe there's a way for him to cancel handstand moving backwards. I forget. I'll get there later. 
But yeah, this is generally something you could use to like set people up and uh, if they run at you, you, you blow them up for it. As far as the actual Frania, it's going to be worth testing because if the, back, uh, the opponent's back is to the wall, I doubt he creates as much space as he does there. So... Uh... 12 frame mid, right? Yeah, see, the spacing is really good. Uh, what is that? He has a long range mid, right? Nope. Uh, let's try 15. Maybe that reaches. Right, so, oh, wow. Look at that spacing. Even that doesn't reach. Because that, that would tailspin him if it did. Alright, uh, let's try... He has a weird input for this weird-ass mid-kick. This right here. There's like a second kick out of this. Whatever. This is 12, a 12 frame mid, right? He's standing four. So maybe that, and it has some range, so let's see if that reaches. Alright. They don't reach. Alright, so in general, you don't want to swing at that. Unless you got a character that will, like, fuck him up. Like, maybe a geese or a pook and we'll hit him for free out of that. I don't know. But for the most part, the spacing is very much in Eddie's favor off of that move. So, which makes it free, it doesn't really matter. Next. This is uh, to go into relaxed. Once again, spacing, right? So, a thing to note about relaxed dance is you got the uh, safer, safer mix up, which is this or this, right? The thing about that, the safer mix up also has more range. The big 50 50 mix up is the launchers, obviously, but they both have limited range. So, just seeing the spacing here, I could already tell you're not going to have the range to do it. See? The first hit is going to connect. And if the, only the first hit of Slippery Kick connects, you could, pu you could float Eddie and juggle him, no matter what. You, it, whether you block the first hit and the second one, or, but in this case, they made it worse on blocks, so now he staggers. Before, it didn't stagger on blocks, so I guess that doesn't matter. But if the first hit hits you by itself, you're always free to float Eddie, depending on what your character is, right? So in the case of Eddie, right, if you were to try that shit, right, maybe it would be back 3-3. Three, three. Man, something with, with range, right? Oh, I'm trying to mash. I'm trying to mash back, back two, three. Yeah, see? So even if he were to do the um, armor move, let's see, the armor move might change things. Let's, let me make sure. Right? Maybe the armor move changes things a little bit here. Let's see. It do. We actually exchanged. <laughs> yep. So maybe go for a low if you got range on the low. Woo! A fast low. I don't know what a fast low would be for Eddie. What's a fast low? Does Eddie have a fast low? 16 frames. That's pretty fast. And uh, 15 frames exchange, so I wouldn't need faster than 15 frames. So uh, that situation, thanks to the armor move, that situation is nowhere near as bad as it used to be. That used to be a really bad situation for, for uh, Capitals, but now, thanks to that arm, not as big a deal. Uh, what is it? It's up anyway, it's be here. Better offside for the safer low output is Relax 1-3. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, the thing about the... This got buffed because the mid. It used to be popular to jump over Eddie in a lot of situations on that mix-up. But now, this, the, the mid option, if I could go to fucking Relax, the mid homing option at that, is a tail spin move, so if you were to try to jump over that, it's gonna hit you and he's gonna get a juggle. Uh, a mini juggle, but still, he's still gonna get a juggle. Maybe he'll get like 40 damage out of it, I don't know. So it's not as good an idea to try to jump over as it used to be. And like I said, it's a homing move, so you can't really just sidestep it. Uh, I don't know how the low tracks. Depending on how the low tracks, you might be able to oh, kind of OS it, as in a sidestep and towards the theoretical weak side of the low, and then stand block the mid, because the mid is actually unsafe. I think negative 13. <coughs> so anyway, so yeah, um, in general, just know that whether you're using Eddie or you're fighting against Eddie, 
the higher rewarding mix up at a relax if you see any spacing at all you're not even like a full backdash like a partial backdash he's generally not gonna reach you generally you're you're all you're gonna be able to backdash so like to show you an example once again with this right even even if he hits me maybe let's see see even if he fucking hit uh, hits me with the setup with the and then you can float him What's the follow-up for? Four, isn't it? Oh, too slow. You just gotta make sure your spacing is like good. Maybe dash up. Oh, oh don't, okay, see? Be careful if you dash up, because the second level can still trip you. So the, you know, the, the the spacing, your timing, all that shit, the move that she use. It's like, it gets a little weird. Oof, really weird. Maybe I should use this instead. Yeah, use that instead, I guess. Right? It's a four. <laughs> Pain in the ass. See, I said it was unorthodox to punish him, and this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. You kind of have to thread the needle sometimes. Sometimes. Because you don't want to have to fucking buy into a 50-50, you know? Uh, what was the other one? The other one is four tilde three? Uh, three tilde four. Okay. And in that case, the back dash would probably either make that whiff or even on block, it's launch punishable anyway. So, yeah. So as long as you're able to back dash away from the low, you don't ever have to duck. Just back dash, and if you happen to block that, be ready to launch punish it. By the way, it goes, though. And in that case, if you hit him early enough, you're going to float him like that. But if you block it, you have to be ready to launch him with... Uh, Wow, oh, wow. No, you actually always float him. I thought you would, uh... I thought there would be a window where you could get a full launch on him. Maybe not. Maybe I'm remembering wrong, but... Be ready to float punish that whenever you block that. That's, uh, three tilde four from Relax. Four tilde three is the low slippery kicks. <clears throat> so, anyway. That's this shit. Uh... Let's see how it is on block. Oh, that's 15 frames, I know. Why is he doing that? I'm double tapping, that's why. Uh, do I have a 16? That's, uh... Do I have a 17 frame option here? 18, that's 18? Okay, 18. 18 interrupts. Okay, so it's pretty bad on block. I would just go for a quick low that would hit him. Don't try to get fancy. Unless you have something really special with your character. Don't try to get fancy. By the way, I think about another thing to know about relaxed in general, punishing relaxed. You only hit him as if he was standing with like full launchers if he was mashing. Let me give you guys an example. Uh, another rule, general rule to punish and relax, right? That's negative 14. Back 3-3. Three, three. Counter hit, 13 frame launcher, right? Mid mid. And it's a knee, so you can't do a, a standard counter to it, right? It's negative 14, which means if I were to respond with a general low hitting 14 frame or faster move, especially one that floats, you will get a launch on it. For example, I could punish it with the same move, because like I said, it's 13 frames. And it floats. See? It floats them, right? You could punish him with slower options and relax because he can't block. But it won't float him. Uh, what was this? 16 frames? Down four, right? 16 frames, right? That's an example. See? 16 frames. The thing about it is if he were... Well, I got a better idea, actually. I got a better idea. See? 15 frames. There we go. One frame slower. Right? 15 frames. See? The second hit whiffs. Second hit whiffs. If you've noticed that you've played some mashing caplet before and you launched them from relax and then you're wondering why sometimes it doesn't work, this is probably why. Right, so now I'm blocking it. He's negative 14. If he mashes, it hits him as if he were standing. That will include launchers. See? 15 frame launcher, full launch. 
But if he were to not to do anything, because it's negative 14, he shouldn't be doing anything. It's only gonna hit him as if he was grounded. That is still a punish. It's still a punch. It's not. It don't. It won't show as a punish because that's a 15 frame move hitting him at negative 14. But it's a guaranteed hit. But it's not fully launching him because he's not mashing. You get what I'm saying? Uh, out of you, three till the four is three plus four. Wait, what? Out of out of you? What, what are you trying to ask? Out of up four three? Wait, what? Wait, are you talking about relax? Are you talking about this? Are you talking about slippery kicks? He's able to sidestep and relax. I mean, I know he has like that. I know that he has that. But I doubt that in one frame he's going to evade that move, right? <laughs> he's negative 14. I'm doing a 15 frame move. I mean, let's see. Just might as well try to be sure, right? Yeah, no. He needs more than one frame to get around that. As far as how many frames he needs to get around, I don't know. What's uh, what's a slower low I could test? Uh, 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 23 frames. I don't know how that tracks, but... Uh, that might just track, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm hitting him with an 18 frame low before he even starts to try to turn. So, yeah. That has its limitations. Just like sidestepping from standing, that has its limitations. But you should be aware that it's there. Um, Chadwick's, I don't get what you're asking. Out of up, out of, re are you talking about relaxed? What move are you talking about? That? I don't know. That input that input is not a unique move. Whatever that is, up for three. Oh, you talking about sidestep? Is that what you're talking about? Is that a Is that what you're talking about? That move is kinda useless now. That was that move was great in tag two because it's a high damage single 50 damage, single hit. So it was really good for a tag assault. But now, you don't have that juggle system, so. Also, doesn't look like anything's guaranteed after that. So, I, I don't know if you're talking about some other move. Um, and chat isn't moving, so I don't know if it's frozen. Alright, what, whatever. Uh, next move. Oh, yeah. On hit, though, you probably have to respect that, right? Let me test that just in case. No. Down, damn it. 15 frame, yeah. Oh, it, cr it leaves you crouching. I didn't realize. Oh, shit. Never mind that. Oh, shit. Never mind this. This move. Alright, yeah. So. It actually sucks on here. Is that even a natural combo? It's not even a natural combo. Thank you for the follow, Soggy Dank. Good name. So, alright. So, what this tells me is the way you're going to want to use this is the handstand is what's going to stop people from wanting to swing at you without dashing up. And then that's when you get the relax on them. Either that or that's also going to be a floor break because it hits downward. That's definitely a floor break. I feel like that used to be a bound move. I don't really, I don't really know. I don't remember at the moment. But I'm pretty sure that spikes for floor break. See? Yeah, that's going to floor break for sure. Um, that also might be like a wall ender to force a relax mix up at the wall, right? You end you end the wall combo with that, and then they tech, and then boom, you got the 50-50 right in, you know, right in their face. To wall splat them. And then we know that the mid, let me get hit by the mid, the mid causes a spin, so it wall splats. Although now the slippery kicks at the wall doesn't give him a full wall combo because there's no bound, so keep that in mind too. Oh, that's just the floor break. So, if you were going to run this for mix-up uh, purposes, first of all, I don't know if I would really recommend that, but um, you use this to get them afraid because it causes so much space. And then after they're afraid or they keep dashing up in your face, that's when you go into this. I guess. It doesn't seem that good, though. Uh, Alright. 
Ganchu Chibata. Chibata bread is delicious. This is a tailspin and a homing move. Okay, so the first kick is homing. This is a natural combo, it looks like. So here's the thing about Eddie. The reason I'm not testing what tracks, I mean, obviously this tracks because it's homing, is because Eddie's sidestep sucks. So I would have to do what I did for Gigas, uh, which is to say I will have to record a separate thing. We probably using Lily or somebody to test his tracking. By the way, if you scroll down my channel, you'll see my YouTube. I went through, I've been doing this for a while now. I haven't done it for a while, but I was doing it for a while. <laughs> and I went through about half the cast where I went through the whole move list like I'm doing right now. So anyway. This is a high homing move, really good damage. Definitely, uh... So what is it on block? It is safe. Safe. That's a pretty big gap. <laughs> I had a feeling. Alright, so you can jab him. You can jab him. Um, I'm too slow. I'm trying to 12 frame. Okay, so he's beating out my 12 frame. He's losing the jab. That means he'll exchange with 11 frames. Right? Yeah. So you, you know, pretty much jab him if you think he's going to follow up. But that does not make this a bad move. Because 18 frames, and that's still negative nine. Let's see what the oop, let's see what the counter hit properties are on this thing. Counter hit juggle starter. See, I had a feeling. And the second hit is just a uh, decent damage single hit. 23 damage. Uh, and also, if you hit him out of the air, this will tailspin, right? Ugh, I'm... Shit, how would I test this? Uh... Yeah, and the second hit with tailspin, is tailspin, if they were to jump for some reason, I guess. It's basically a third stance for him. He has a lot of moves from it. Wait. Oh, his sidestep? Yeah, I guess. I guess you're right. I'll get into that. Wait, wait. Oh, that's that's a big one. That low low. Pa -pa. The pitter patter low. That's a fucking pain in the ass. That's. I think this is also like plus one to some instances or zero. There it is. Plus one. I just got it. <laughs> um, I'll get to that when I get to that. So this is a this is a good move. The use of you know the case usage is obvious. It's 18 frames, so it's not super slow, but it is on the slower side. But it's not super slow, right? Uh, and homing, and it has pretty decent range. I would say. Look at that. The tip caught him at two back dashes away. Plus seven on hit. Yeah, plus seven on hit. Counter hit jungle starter. Negative nine on block. Uh, and if people were to swing with anything slower than a jab, you got to follow up as a safe. Negative four on block follow up as a deterrent for people swinging with anything other than a jab. Pretty good. Pretty dang good. Um, that big gap between the two, the two kicks... Makes me think that maybe some characters might be able to sidestep that second kick. They'll definitely be able to armor through it. So keep that in mind. Armor and super through it. Rage drive or rage art, whatever. So keep that in mind. Next. Ah, slippery kick. Aha. Alright. So this is just a slow ass jungle starting low. It's not there's not much to say about it. This you have to see this. It's neg it's not negative. It's 29 frame startup. So if you find against fucking Eddie, you have to see this low. You have to. Either way it goes, there's not much to say about it other than it's a fucking juggle starting low. It's a slow juggle starting low that probably crushes highs. Uh, if you were to interrupt him, I'm pretty sure you float him. Oh yeah, they gave that a new input. I forgot about this. I just interrupted him. Hey, see? You you float him when you interrupt him. But when you block it, you can launch him. Now, I need to show you guys something about this real quick. So I'm going to switch to uh, Dragon Off and pick Eddie. So if you're, if you're trying to learn here how to fight against Eddie, this is important to know. Depending on what your character is. 
and to show what I'm talking about, I used to uh, use I used to run Dragon as my secondary with Marduk as my main, and whenever I fought Capos in Tag Two, this would like frequently frustrate me. Right now, this right here, very frustrating. So. Slippery kicks, right? I want you to pay attention to Eddie's animation after I block it. You see that? You see how he like falls on the floor? And he like leans his body down for a moment before getting up? That's important because... Oh, they buffed this, I forgot. Okay, okay. They buffed the hitbox on Dragon Ball's while standing too. Remember that little patch with the tweaks? Remember that patch with the tweaks? This used to be a, uh... Alright, they took it. This used... Basically, what I'm getting at is... This used to whiff. In this specific situation, this would whiff 100%. And you can, you can even see it right now visually. It doesn't look like Dragon Ball's touching him at all. But it's launching him. Um, so I... Maybe this still happens with some characters, but you need to be mindful that, like, certain shit is just gonna whiff. Like that. Right? That's Dragon Ball's 12 frame while standing move. And if you're... Let, let, let me try to just run his... Uh, maybe his shoulder will do it too? Okay, not his shoulder. But this... As you can see, see, that's a mid. It's, uh, that's a 12 frame mid while standing, right? So you need to be mindful when you see, like, if you notice your character is whiffing with their while standing launcher, you need to kind of delay it a bit. Try it right here. Let me see if I can make it work with this. There it is, see? The timing, depending on how shitty the hitbox is on your mid, it could be fucked up. Maybe it'll hold down forward for a moment. Nope, too slow. Yeah. Um, also, it's negative 24, so you could also try to do this. Oh, you can't. <laughs> All right. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Cross cancel down forward too if you have access to that. If you have a hop kick, you might be able to connect it on him from this, but it might whiff just like this. I hope you got good hitboxes to punish this shit. But uh, Dragon Balls, yeah, Tekken Osaka. Yeah, they buffed they buffed Dragon Balls while standing to hitbox specifically. Remember when they nerfed stuff like Ling Zayu a little bit and other things like that. They did some nerfs. Our uh, Kazumi got big nerf pretty big back then. Dragonov's that while standing two got definitely got buffed. I forgot about that. So anyway. Oh yeah, also I might as well test this real quick while I'm here. With a character that I can actually sidestep. <coughs> Woo! Ah! I thought so! I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Wow, the angle makes it weird, but you could definitely sidestep it and launch his ass, right? That's not the juggle at all. How are you doing it again with that off? It's, uh. No, it's, uh. I forgot how to juggle with Dragon. It's been so long. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. You get the idea. So you could sidestep that to your left. I miss any questions? Uh, it's basically a stand for. Will a cross shab hit him out of it? It looks like it comes off the ground a little. Are you talking about that three uh, four? Yeah. Uh, three four does a low crush in between, so you could down jab it in between. Oh, interesting. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament Seven. You talking about 3 tilde 4? Or 3 4 in general? Oh, you talking about 3 4 when I was just doing Alright. <clears throat> Still, I think 3 4 is a good stream. Because the general idea is if people are watching out for the follow up, that buffs the first kick. Because they're going to slow down their input. 
So it almost opens you up to being able to, what do you call it, ah, about it, mash, right? Mashing at negative nine. You can kind of do that because of the, the way the stream works. You just need to be mindful that you're doing that at negative fucking nine, so. Be careful. All right. Yeah, so Slippery Kicks is a pain in the ass in general. Slippery kicks a handstand. If you want a different juggle, hold back. You don't have to hold back. You can recover in... Uh, he rec without holding back, he recovers in uh, relaxed. When you hold back, he recovers in handstand. It's going to change your juggle. Uh, on, it's not going to change anything on block because he block staggers. So you, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, oh, that's a weird one. I think it's still block staggers, right? Yeah, it's still block staggers, so. I know that that mid kick is a launcher. I know he has that fake out mid kick in a few situations. Right? Okay, he definitely can't do it. Man, that's weird. I don't know what I, don't, I have no idea what the, the purpose of this is to be honest with you guys. Maybe for certain juggles, like maybe I don't know. I don't know what the purpose would be of a move like this. I wouldn't recommend using it unless there's some specific setup with this move. You any players might know this. I don't know. I can't think of a way to use this move. Other than being something that will fuck up your juggle, probably, right? I mean, look at the way it hits you. Can I tech out of that? Let's see. Uh, I can't tech out of that, it seems like. But it also seems like you're not going to get a follow-up. So, I don't know what the purpose of that is. Uh, oh, this is a popular one. This is the Mashy Eddie special, right? Because they don't know how to juggle. And they just, they just keep pressing kicks. So, this is going to come out. Yeah, use any extensions off of this is useless as far as I'm concerned. If you're gonna use that, you're using that as the low. Wow, look at that. <laughs> uh, it needs to be a close up clean hit on both legs. Anyway, if you're using that as your low, you're using that as your low, and that's it. Like, don't use these extensions unless you have some, like I said, some sort of specific setup. I wouldn't recommend it. Whoops. Of course, he has that too. This might be good for a floor break, right? Ouch! Because how many that? How much damage is that? 18 damage for a single hit. I don't know how his juggles generally work, really. It's just not about that. It's just about his moves and his moveless in general. So this might be. I feel like I've seen this. Eddie players use it. Oops, not that. I feel like I've seen Eddie players use this in the floor break stage, as opposed to doing just like the low into a regular juggle. So maybe that's a use for this. Outside of that, same thing as the other ones. There's no mix up there because, you know, once you block the low, that's it. Ah, this is a weird move. I think this is uh, really unsafe, but you have to chase him down, right? Yeah, this is like Geese's uh, shit pook in Air Fireball. You have to, like, you can punish him, but you have to chase him down. Negative 27. Good luck doing that, right? I don't know what uh, what his long range shit would be. Oh, well. maybe some characters will be able to do it, but it ain't likely. All right, well let's see how, how this on hit. Wow, keeps him standing. Only 16 damage. Zero, negative 16 on hit, but that spacing makes it so it's like you're probably not gonna want to chase him down. On counter hit, nothing. Nothing on counter hit. Dad, nothing on count <laughs> It's also the start of his 10 string. I didn't know that. Satellite move. Well, it's its own move, apparently. And when you create that kind of space with it, it might be a decent panic button. How evasive is it up close? Uh. 
Okay, not evasive at all. Let me try to get something slower. That's a bit. Nope, no high crush properties. No low crush. Nope. It does have good range. So maybe kind of chipping away at someone's health. This might be just another move you could kind of throw out there. What I will say is on whiff. Man, it's even on whiff is pretty hard to punish. I mean, you could get him. Oh, and you flow him too. Shit. You hit him in a flow state. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem super great. Like, the reward is shitty on hit, so it's like, whatever. Uh, alright, well. Hot Plate Special, I like that name. There it is. That's definitely one I've seen before. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, these extensions, yep, these extensions are, wh are what's gonna stop you from chasing him down, because when you chase him down, that's when you're gonna start getting hit by shit like this, right? So let's see. Hot play special, huh? Damn. Alright. Alright. Yeah, see? He creates enough space that if you were to swing instantly with anything, it's gonna whiff. You know, outside of some extreme edge cases. Like, super, like, wow! Perfect example of what I was talking about earlier. Remember when I mentioned about his default, his stance, making shit whiff? That was an example right there. That's the kind of shit that's gonna happen to you, whether you're playing as Eddie or you're playing as against Eddie. Playing as against Eddie. Playing against Eddie. Playing as against Eddie. It's not a character name against Eddie. You get the idea. So, anyway. So, yeah, uh,. You got this. Um, also, you don't have to go into handstand. You can just go into relax for that. All right, see? As long as you don't press anything or hold back or whatever, he's going to go into relax. Um, I don't know what this is like on hits. 15 frames, yeah? Counter it. Not a punish. Okay. Okay. Alright, so... If that mid hits you, he, he has a legitimate mix-up. But... Definitely not the launcher 50-50. He has the other 50-50, the safer one. And for, uh, just a reminder, the safer one is that as your mid, or pick your low. Three, or... One, th one, four. Is it one, four or one, three? It might be one, three. Maybe it's one, four. I think one of these is natural and one isn't, right? Okay, one, three is natural. Wait, what? No, no. No, I'm fucking up. Uh, wow. Wow, that's interesting. It's basically the same. All right, relax one three is just like standing one three, except it's a natural combo. I didn't know that. On normal hit, he needs counter hit to get it from standing. Oh, there you go. We're learning, right? <laughs> wow. So relax one three is definitely. It's probably better than this. The only reason you would use that is if you need speed, right? It's one frame slower. It's one frame slower. Go figure. More damage. I think the low gives him a uh, juggle and counter hit, right? Or something? No, I don't. Uh, it doesn't give him shit. Uh, Alright. This is knocked down at all. Ugh, I'm trying to whip the first hit. Okay, nothing. Nothing special counter. Let me uh swig of water over here. So yeah. 
run your relax mixer because at least in the case of the homing mid it's 15 frames it's your fastest option from relax it seems like it four plus e plus four to catch them at least i think that's the notation for the jumping double kick you're talking about uh this double kick no not that not that double kick sorry shit maybe it's the other way around are you talking about that double kick do the hot play special and hold down, it goes to relax without doing the kick. Yeah, I have a feeling that was coming up. See, the thing here is, I usually use the RB Norway on the side, and the RB Norway a website, move list, will tell you shit like that, that the move list here doesn't tell you. For example, I'm pretty sure there's a way to land right into relax off of this, without doing the low kick. I think so. I'm not sure. Well, whatever. Yeah, there it is. And this is definitely something I've seen Eddie players do. Good ones too. Basically, Eddie has a lot of shit like this that's gonna test your knowledge of the matchup. Is he gonna mash after blocking this? Is he not? What does he mash? You know? So you gotta be careful how you swing at Eddie. You gotta know his options. So basically, the important thing about knowing his options is knowing where they all start. And this crazy ass kick right here is one, one of the, satellite moon, one of the places where it all starts, right? One three, it's another place where it all starts. You gotta know this kind of shit. All right, so, uh, hot plate special on block. Let's see how it is. How bad is it really? It's plus seven on hit a corner to, to the bot. I have to like run up the block. Negative five. So you might be able to punish it with a fast low poke if you got access to it. Maybe not, let's see. Oops, it's not gonna do it. Double tapping like it's a 2D fighter, that's why it keeps happening to me. Yeah, it looks like he's stuck there to get hit. By at least a reasonably fast slow. I think they're too slow, he's gonna be able to block him. Just forward and kicks twice. You talking about this? What about that? That's forward plus three plus four. This is like a spike move for Oki. Oh, that! That move. Woo! Tailspin. I ain't know it did that. Alright. You talking about chasing down this, right? I'm gonna guess no, but. Nope. I mean, like I said, your character might have something. Right? Let me give you an example of what I think might work here. And if this works, then that makes it, like, this is the kind of thing that might be a matchup thing. Where it's not a big deal if you take that away for Eddie. He has other ways to do his shit. But it's nice to limit him in that way, right? So if you have an option, this is going to be a catch-all. I'm going to hit him every time he does that. Even if it's just like a single hit. You're going to hit him and stop all that bullshit from happening. All of a sudden, you have you, you you pretty much take that away from him, and he has to use other means to mix you up. And giving an opponent character less means to mix you up is always a nice thing to have. So if there's anyone that I think might have something, it'll be this guy right here, right? Other than maybe a geese or Pukin. Those of you that, that are interested in Claudio. 1 plus 2 is a really, really good whiff punish. 17 frames, 
three hit string attached to it that only comes out if you hit. And it's, uh, I think, negative 14 on block, so. And it gives him Starburst. Ugh. That string, right? 58 damage, a lot of range, 17 frame startup. And he just math 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, then forward or back plus 2. And they do that because you switch the sides. You can press either or. And you can pretty much mash it out. Right? And then when you have Starburst, you have this. For 16 frames and a lot of range. And you also have it without that too. So we're going to test both right here. good to go you're pretty good to go if this shit isn't reaching you to give you guys an idea this punishes Heihachi forward forward too. this on block so if that's not gonna reach you I think you're it's safe to say you're you're pretty much in good shape here one thing that I think will shut that down though is like I said geese Oscar's forward two. I don't know how much more range Oscar has with forward two than uh, Claudio has with forward one plus two. I don't think it's going to be much. Oh! <laughs> that sucks. definitely hit you if you follow it up. I don't think you'll be able to whiff punish keys for it though, right? Weird. Alright. Let me go back to Eddie. So he moves a little bit to his left. I can't tell if that's because of his stance or because it's the way the move works. Either way it goes, this thing is pretty good. Pretty good, pretty decent. And it could be the start of your uh, one of your mixes, right? Uh, maybe not even really mix up. It's not. Really, it's a weird mix up. It's not like oh, I'm right in your face and I'm gonna force a mix up like uh, like that is, right? It's not quite that level, but you know, this is one of those where I'm gonna throw us out here and pesker them with this when I have a life lead, right? Just from all the way back here. And even if it whiffs, they're gonna have to really run at me to get to me, which they could do. They might. And uh, when they start to do something stupid, then you start, you know, you start working in the other stuff, right? Ah, yes. This is definitely a popular one right here. Yes, that's a big one. Alright, uh, that's just like this. This is just like a decent damage low crush. There's nothing special about it. I don't even think it tracks. It looks like it should track to Eddie's left. I'm not so sure it does that. But, uh, seems like we got the same situation going on here. Uh, seems the same damage. <clears throat> it is safe on block. Oh, it is more damage. No tailspin. 
O'Connor it. And he will get floated. But that happened. It is a mid. It's just one of those, right? One of those weird mids. One of those weird, like, uh... Can you do the follow-up on hit, on, on whiff? <laughs> Punish. <laughs> uh, so weird. Alright. So that happens, right? Alright, next. Chrono Cross music. Ooh. It's been going on this whole time, hasn't it? It was Xeno Gears, now it's Chrono Cross. I just finished Xeno Blade 2, so I'm on a Yasunori Mitsuda kick over here with the music. Uh, next. Okay, so that's the roundhouse. Yeah, we got that already. So now we're here. Hand slaps. Ah, yes. Uh -uh. Which has extensions, right? Alright, well anyway, hand slaps are a 12 frame high high string that moves Eddie to the left. Natural combo. Would I call this his 12 frame punisher? Probably not. <laughs> it does good do good damage, but that second hit has a tendency to whiff. So the thing about it though, it is a 12 frame launcher if you input 1 plus 2, 3. After the first hit, pop pop. You have yourself a high 12 frame launcher. A very unsafe one though. So it's not quite on the level of like a Magic 4 because it has way shittier range. And it's super unsafe. So it's not that great. But it is a high mid. So if people are ducking you for some reason. Maybe because that's a high high. I don't know. They could duck maybe. How's your stand guard and a crouch guard? Nope, oh, it jails. It jails. It is zero on block. I didn't know that. That's interesting. All right. Uh, let's see. Record. Dash up, right? Huh, 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 right? So we should exchange jabs. Huh, huh, huh. Yep. Zero on block, baby. And it jails. So I think the one plus two by itself is pretty decent. My only issue with it, like I said, is it just sometimes whiffs. Partially probably because of Eddie's like fucking dancing around, right? And uh, also partially because he's automatically moving to his left and it just, just doesn't have a lot of range. Right? See, look, the first hit has like fucking shit range. Really shitty range. Uh, but it's still pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> you see? <clears throat> What's getting squeaky? It's just whiffing sometimes for no reason after the jab because of our stance. But sometimes it's not. Maybe I'm underestimating this move because I'm, we're both Eddie and dancing around. Maybe in your average matchup, it's not gonna be as like finicky, right? Uh, but yeah, zero on block jail is pretty fucking good, and you got yourself a 12 frame high counter hit juggle starter, right? So that's not a float. So you gotta launch him. You gotta love it. The mid launcher from Relax looks similar, but you float him. What's it? See? It looks pretty similar to that, doesn't it? But in that case, you're floating him when you hit him, when you pop punish it. But in this case, he's recovering standing. It is like a different kick, but it looks similar. Uh, likes to spam hash when he plays Eddie. Yeah, it's a popular Eddie move. 
and I could, you, you know, we all could see why now, right? Zero on block, 12 frame high. It's a good move. Very good move. I would say it's a key move. Uh, probably his up close 12 frame Punisher too. Good damage. It's a lot going on there. Uh, plus six on hit. Pretty good. Plus six on hit is great, even. Of course, that's what I was doing. That's that's the launcher, right? We already know about that. How much exactly is it on block? They get a 23 on block. These, this kind of thing, in uh, the earlier games, tag it to an early tag it, tag it to, tag it to, tag to an earlier used to create a lot more space. So even people that knew that, that these, these kind of things were really punishable, they were never ready to punish it because they kind of had to have their long range launcher ready as opposed to their generic non forward twos or whatever. That was one of the things that they nerfed. So it's like a nerf of quotations in that you were always able to launch them, but now it's just like, all right, you just launch it with your standard. They, they basically homogenized it, you know? There's not, you know, it makes it a lot less annoying. So, any of these kicks are kicks like that and that that all that kind of shit he would be like back here in the older games so you, you know you, you had to be ready for it but he was always like negative 25 and shit like that so everybody could launch him pretty much you just always had to be ready for it all right uh back handspring this is a weird move i know it uh crushes it is negative nine what is it doing here? Probably doesn't track at all, right? Ooh, Juggle Stutter? How would you follow that up? Does he get anything for free after this? Maybe that? Oh, hey, what do you know? That's gotta be a better way to pick up than that. Well, if you're on a floor break stage, that will floor break. Does he have anything, uh, you Eddie players out there? Does he have a proper jungle off of this? Look up a jungle guy, there's a billion of them out there. Just know that if you cannot juggle off of this, you're gonna at least get a guaranteed follow-up. And in the ground break stage, down 4-3, which is a, clearly a combo here, will floor break for a proper juggle. So you got that. I'm sure this, this used to bound in uh, tag two and shit, right? Counter hit. Oh, that looks like a more proper. Yeah, there you go. On counter hit, though, you could just do the back 3-3 three, three to whatever, right? Oh, what? Eddie, come on, man. Gross. Gross to whatever. There's a way to make that guaranteed. I don't know how. Uh, negative nine on block. This obviously hits grounded. And it crushes. I'm pretty damn sure, dude. Whoops, I canceled into that by accident. I didn't even know. There's so many things uh, with Eddie that when you hold back, he just goes to a handstand. You always forget. This is also one of those that feels like it'll duck mids. That's a mid. Hold on a second. That's a mid. So he goes under mids with high hitboxes. Luckily, if I do one down forward 1-1, one, one, the mid high, the high will catch him in time to flow because it's such a slow move. Oh, the first one caught him there. Also, if I delay it, that, that one will catch him. It's just the startup of it. it makes him pretty damn evasive. So that, that could be a tricky one. 
could be a trick you want to catch your opponent sleeping, right? And it is safe on block, but it is so slow at 36 frames of startup that you have a pretty damn big chance of getting floated. And then when you get floated, it's going to become, you know, a, a, a easy conversion for pretty much anybody. All right. Ooh, has that kick. Ah, check this out. This sounds like a remix of Scarlet for Chrono uh, Trigger. I mean, that was on purpose. In this particular case. That still comes out. Alright, it doesn't say. The frame data recognizes that as the handstand mid, not as its own move, so I can't tell how fast it comes out. But the down forward one on does still float him. Yeah. The second it does. Yeah, see? So probably similar speeds here. Either way it goes, if you hit him with that, you could uh, run your mix up, especially now that you have a, a armor move. Uh. I'm guessing if you block that. Yep. Which will force him to go low. Which means. Um, yep. That's the new mix up. New to this game thanks to armor. Before, a moderately quick low would uh, hit you at a handstand for trying to do that kind of shit. Oh, sorry, a moderately quick mid, although he does have the handstand duck also, which can launch you. <clears throat> so if you were trying to answer with 1-1, one, one, not for 1-1 one, one in this case, you get launched. Even I just did the down one by itself. And that shit ducks a lot of bits. A lot of bits. See? It might not duck this one, though. Yeah, I had a feeling. That one has a really good hitbox. Back two. So, a hand say you're generally going to want to use quick lows against him in general. But still, once that mid hits you, he's only negative four. Which, oh, which makes you want to swing with something fast to beat out the armor. But then you have to worry about shit like that happening, right? So, uh, I would recommend, like I said, if you got a fast 15, 14 frame low, use it. Don't cross jab, because that's, that's still what's going to happen. Uh, Geese has a 14 frame low. Mid mid. There we go. Punish. Punish. Makes you think I low profile it under the mid there. Yikes. But hey, you can also float that. That's why. He's, this is kind of what I was getting at. When I started doing this today with Eddie, I was saying that. He's high risk, high reward mix up character. This is kind of what I'm talking about. You have to do weird, unorthodox shit to punish him to actually add the risk part. If you didn't know that these are the way these options, these moves interact with each other, you go in fucking blind, then how are you supposed to know to punish him? But now you know, hey, when I guess right, I'm gonna get a juggle on this clown, right? And then at worst, if I go low for a low poke, at worst, I'll get hit by that shit. Which it sucks. You get knocked down, he does give him 24 damage, but you know. Better than eating the fucking uh, handstand duck into that mid, which you have to float when you block it. Yeah, Raven has down three. Geese has down two at 14 frames also. I don't know if it's going to be fast enough, though. Might as well test to be sure, right? The only thing I know is Eddie has a 15 frame left. Let's try Geese. I don't think there's any fast, anything faster than 14 frames. Oh, sorry. There is. There is. There is. Any character that has the generic full crouch down four from standing instantly, that's 12 frames. 
which even Gigas has. And some characters like Lily, if they float you with that, will be able to convert off of it. I don't know if she has it from standing face to face though. She might only have it from back. Put again. All right, three plus four, three. Yep, yeah, he beat out fourteen frames. I'm trying to see if he's a low uh, profile. Of course, you could do that, but we already know that cross stab is a bad idea, right? All right, so let's test the other one. Um, Dragon all I know has it. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament I know Cla oh, Claudio has it, I think. Yeah, Claudio has it. Uh what other characters? Gigas has it. Um, King has it, I believe. It's like maybe half the cast has the ability, maybe more than half, has the ability to do a generic down four from standing. Get ready for the next battle. In the case of Dragonov, it's down back four. It's the uh, Korean special. You see a lot of Korean players use it as like a go-to low poke to f as a feeling out process. For a lot of reasons, it's fucking cheap. It's really good. This shit. 12 frame low, man. 12 frame high crushing low, that's only negative two on hit. Are you kidding me? Can't sidestep it either, because it's so fucking fast. All right. Uh, Nina has a particularly obnoxious one because she has strings out of it. Yep, there it is. Yeah, he can't convert off of it though. Not even that, wow. Boo hoo, Dragon Ball doesn't get it. <laughs> oh, Dragon Ball is fine. We can also test this from standing. So, as you can see here, my 13 frame is exchanging him. So, we confirm. 12 frame low, thumbs up. There aren't really any 13 frame lows that I, that I know of. So, I'm gonna worry about that. So we got the thumbs up on the uh, generic 12 frame low. Anybody know what's up, Barbie? No way. Nah, I think it's down for everybody. He's asking people to uh, log in and shit. Uh, Kumas? I don't know. If, if, it's, it, it, if your character is able to do this animation right here, the same thing that happens when you hold full crouch and press down for anybody is able to do that shit from standing instantly, it's 12 frames. So that includes Biggs, because I can tell you Gigas has this as down for Dragon Ball already has a down four with this, right? So down back four, always check. Because this is like a key move. Anybody that has this, it's a useful low. Always check for it. Always, always, always. Yeah, there's risk. You can get low crush only for a measly seven damage or low parry. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't use it. Are you kidding me? A 12 frame high crushing low? Are you fucking shitting me? That cannot, pretty much cannot be sidestepped? Don't ignore that shit. I can tell you for sure in the case of Nina, you could press down 4 1 and it will float him and give her a jump. So, Nina versus Eddie is probably a pretty fucked up matchup. Anytime, if I were Nina, anytime I see Eddie in handstand, I'm thinking down 4 1. Down 4 1. Down 4 1. If I float you, I'm getting a juggle. If I don't, if the sec if the 1 whiz for some reason and the 4 hits you, I still hit you out of your stance. So, it's pretty damn good. I say so myself. Heal me. So yeah, it seems like Arbinora is still having issues. It's been having issues for a while. Is Aris uh, streaming? I think Aris is streaming, right? Damn, no calls from work, man. Fuck. I've been trying to get work. Haven't been giving me shit. 
too broke for this. Alright, uh, anyway, um... We're just recovering from a bad snowstorm, so... I've been avoiding going outside. <clears throat> At the end of the day, you still gotta work, right? So either way it goes, this is still pretty good. Just remember, your mix-up, generally, it's gonna be the armor move to stop them from swinging at you with jabs, right? I know he has a lot of ways to go into that kick. That's not the only way he has to go into that kick, right? He has like, uh, like that, forward three, basically. So anytime you're using this forward three, whether it's out of the stance, sorry, whether it's out of this move cancel or just doing forward three by itself. Oh no, sorry, that's a different move. Wow, the frame data wise. By the way, it goes, in this, specific, in this specific instance, we could say the three plus four three. He's good to do a mix-up between the armor move, uh, depending on how they swing at you. Uh, the duck, which is down, handstand down, and then three plus four after you let go of down. Oh, you don't, you don't even have to let go of down. You can just press down plus three plus four and it comes out. And then, uh, yeah. That's generally how it works. And then if they go low, obviously, like I said, you do the, stand, the uh, handstand four, which is the mid-high. Negative, sorry, 12 frames. All right, that's how it works. And if it does hit them, you can force better mix-ups. Although the handstand, uh, I don't really know what the handstand go-to low is. Is there a go-to low at a handstand or does he have to force you to stay standing with the grab? Is that really all that he has? He might need to go into um, relax, which is fine. This is a counter hit string, I know this. Uh, so, forward 2 1. I believe that's his standard 12 frame punisher. Plus 2 on hit, 22 damage. Solid range. Slap, slap. Slap, slap. Slap, slap. Alright. About a back dash worth of uh, distance on that. Alright. Uh, negative 14 on the last kick um, counter hit knockdown knocked on a regular hit and it tail spins out of the air uh, yeah see so if it were to hit him out of the air it tail spins on counter hit 12 frames this is a counter strength 45 damage pretty dang good damage negative 14 on block is kind of shitty so 45 damage for 12 frame counter hit. Not bad. Uh, let's see how it works on block. If I could duck it or whatever, right? Alright, it jails. First two hits jail. So, that's nice. <sighs> Negative eight on block. Ah, Aris is screaming. Handstand. Go too low is back three. There it is. Thank you. I know he has something. And it leaves him in relax. For, it leaves him at relax at plus seven and up close. Yeah, I, I, mentioned, the, I mentioned the high grab from handstand. It's unbreakable for those of you that don't know. I'm sure everybody knows that. But hey, I'll mention it anyway. The handstand, um, 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4, is it? Yeah. That's a high unbreakable. So that's one of the reasons he has to duck. The thing is, I feel like people kind of do that on reaction, because it's 28 frames according to the second bot. It's a pretty slow startup. And it does have a specific animation, because he makes that sound effect. And he turns his body around to face you. Those are the two big giveaways of that throw. So a lot of people... I, you see it in tournament all the time, and even not in tournament. Even when you, people play online, good players, right? You can kind of see that coming. So it's good to know that he has a low poke. And a pretty good one at that. At back three. See, I was trying to press random shit to figure it out. I knew he had something. 
And uh, plus seven. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, but let me test that. Something about that right now. Nope, not that. Uh, oh, not that. It's kind of weird to test it without wasting frames, but, uh... Oh, Jesus. That's an Eddie thing, because I'm sidestepping with the stance. Yeah. So, outside of weird instances like that first time where I was off access to the right during my stance, and the second hit didn't trip me, this is one of those that could set up the real 50-50, the high-risk one. Because you can't backdash away from it. Unless that hits you shallow. That's the only instance that it doesn't happen. So keep your eyes open, Eddie players, if you're using this. Keep your eyes open on how close you hit them before you decide your mix-up. Basically, get good at reacting, I guess, and confirming. If you're right in their face, though, feel free to run the big boy uh, mix-up. Oh, maybe not. Wow. Take it back. Damn. Poor Eddie. <laughs> I'd take that one back. I'd take that one back. Jesus Christ. I could just I could just hold back. I don't even have to back that. Alright. Alright, it's a little weird. It's a little difficult to time too. Yeah. It's a little tricky to time. And also I suspect that Eddie's stance is kinda of fucking with this just a little bit. Oh, God, I should be sure, shouldn't I? Fine. Who has a good backdash, Lisa? I think he's has an alright backdash. <coughs> Headstand up four. I suppose. I don't see people falling for that shit though. I mean, I'm not saying the hands there got doesn't work, but people that have been around the block for a while, playing Tekken for a while, they're definitely used to seeing that Eddie grab from hands All right, uh, I was looking for. The timing on this is difficult. Yeah, I think it's just Eddie's fucking stance messing with it. If you're up close, you definitely seem to be good to go for this. Yeah. In your standard matchup, if you're close, I think you're alright. I imagine if Lay were around, he would fuck that shit up too with his stance, right? Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament Seven, Eddie Gordo. Eddie Gordo. We learned it so far. You guys busting out your uh, little notepads there? Get ready for the next time. All right. <clears throat> So yeah, I was talking about this thing, right? Um, yeah. So forward two one will be his standard twelve frame Punisher, I think. High, if you're like not confident in one plus two, I guess, because one plus two does give better frames and better damage. But the cool thing about this is, uh, yeah, it's only plus two, but you know, you got that last hit to get him scared, but 
Ah, negative 14. Pretty gimmicky. If it were like negative 13 or negative 12, even then, be careful. Some characters will launch you at 14 frames. Geese with one meter is gonna launch you. Uh, fucking Lars with forward back to one. Uh, Brian with jet upper. Alisa uh, has a sort of launcher back four, one plus two or whatever with the chainsaw. That's 14 frames high, so be careful with that kind of shit. But that is also a counter hit string at 12 frames. Wall splat, 45 damage. Pretty good. <clears throat> Alright. And a second. Alright, that's what I was curious about before. <clears throat> Negative eight, point of this. Plus three. Plus three good enough to make this a frame trap. That is mid high though. Um Yeah, see how this works. <sighs> Oops, wrong button. Ooh, crush. As far as armor goes, he's in a good situation for armor, which is kind of weird because it's negative eight. And armor. Maybe that's the last frame of armor that's activating. Either way it goes, you still got it. Wow, that's a 37 damage counter hit launcher? Is that so? Damn, I didn't know that. And it's an elbow? No, it's not an elbow, it's a back fist. Damn, I didn't know that did so much damage. 37 damage, huh? So we know the armor move works, so on block you got that same three-way mix that I was talking about before with the three plus four three, right? The armor is going to beat out any quick pokes, any quick, uh, uh, any quick pokes, right? The uh, handstand mid, I th let me not get there yet. On block, actually, it is negative eight, it says. Let's see if that's true. Alright. Alright. In this particular case... As long as you have a quick low, go with that. Go with your quick low. In this case, you can throw out a 15 or a 16 frame low. Yeah, 15, 16 frame low. Um, this is 17 frames for the question mark. <laughs> I can't tell that's low profiling. Weird. As long as it's a low, because it's going to beat out the armor. And it's also going to beat out the handstand duck. If he hits you with this, however, you have to respect the mix-up, pretty much. I mean, I suppose that uh, ha uh, handstand mid... is the scariest thing in the world to get hit by. It's really pesky, though. Uh, Alright. But on block, as long as you have a fast low, you could technically count this as punishable via fast low. That's how you can count it as. Look at that, punish. Although that says punish because I, I uh, hit him after the first hit whiff. That's really what you want to see, counter hit. That's how you punish this. <clears throat> In the case of dragging off, you can go right into down plus four, one, three, the whole string. It's going to float him and it's all going to hit him. And it starts up at 15 frames. What other examples can I think of? Uh, Geese is down 3-1. I don't know if the 1 is going to hit him. He, the, the down 3 is probably going to hit him out of range for the 1. But the down 3 is still going to work. Uh, yeah, uh, Nina's down 4-1. Shit to float him. Stuff like that. Can-cans. Uh, Can-cans are going to work here. I don't know if she can follow it up, though. Let's find out. 
Oscar's can can specifically. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Where is she? Got the notes app running. <laughs> I was joking, but uh, I upload all these streams to my YouTube. If you scroll down, you'll see uh, all my past ones. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free to sub to that channel. Free of charge, I promise. I think can't get to 14 frames. What is it? Uh, 16? Oh, 14. Thought so. So. Can she convert in this situation is what I'm curious about, right? Um, that doesn't seem right. Am I low profiling into that shit? Negative eight. Holy shit. Was that low profile? 12 frame low, huh? What? Fucking Eddie, such a weird motherfucker. Alright. We gotta change the rules up here a bit. 12 frame low, still good. High crushing 15 frame lows will low profile this? Your mileage may vary? Let's see. Let's go with something a little slower. second maybe I should just do the geese example because we got 14 with geese and we got 15 with geese and we have 17 and they all high crush Eddie being fucking weird before. We still gonna follow that 12 frame low rule <laughs> from before. So rewind. Treat the, the forward three. Accepting the Eddie versus Eddie situation. <laughs> because I guess Eddie is just fucking up the axis and he's probably off axis to the right. That's probably my only guess. Uh, my only, uh, it's pretty much my only guess as to why that was happening, right? Uh, treat this the same way, the forward three, the same way you would treat the uh, three plus four three. Treat it the same. On block. On hit, it's not as plus. But this was still frame trap, right? It just makes his uh, options a little more open, I guess. So it's still a three-way guess between the fast mid, um, the armor move, and the... Um, Super low profile handstand duck launcher, right? The uh, sorry, not that. Get up. Uh, this, right? Unless you have access to a 12 frame low from standing, which Geese, unfortunately, he don't. He don't. So that's that. The infinite. Wait, he does have a low crushing movement handstand. Forward plus three plus four. Yeah, he does, but when he's at negative eight, let's see. I think I you said this last time and I tested it and it seems like when he's at negative, right? Um
Ach, oh, ich stelle dich There's some startup on that, right? See? If that's hitting him, then the fast low rule still applies. On block! That's what I'm saying. Not on hit. If he's hitting me, I doubt anything is gonna work. Let's see. Right. Yeah, it's, it's fucking frame trapping me. That's a fast move. Shit. How fast is that? 18 frames? I don't know if that's right. Yeah, so, as long as uh, you're blocking, the rule still applies. Because if a uh, 15 frame low is hitting him, a 12 frame low is definitely going to hit him, right? That, that was 60 frames, actually. That's 15. So, same rule applies. I mean, if you want to be 100% sure, I'll test it anyway, because Lord knows weird shit's been happening in the Eddie mirror enough as it is, right? Remember, your crushes always need X amount of frames to crush. Asuka, for example, the can cans, that shit crushes like on frame three or some crazy shit like that. It crushes super early. But it needs a counter hit to launch. Uh, I know Elisa's one plus two crushes really fast, and Elisa's back plus three plus four also crushes pretty damn fast. Hop kicks generally need nine frames before they low crush. Match that shit. See? We're good. On hit, though. Even on hit. Even on hit. See, you know what, what was supposed to tell? I knew this, pretty much knew this was going to be a thing because the animation, he crouches down and then does the kick. That's how you can tell. There's a lot of startup on that on that crush but if I did something like oh not even dude how about if he hits me now that's just frame trapping me this doesn't seem like a great low crush it's making shit like crouch that with but it's like counter hitting me out of anything even remotely slow Starting to wonder if it is a crush. It's just counter hitting me. I mean, say, so yeah, there you have it. I can see why you would think it because, you know, visually it looks like a Shalo crush, but the startup is kind of what gives it away to me. It's kind of like, um,. Kind of like Gigas' sidestep too. That shit where he hops and he does like a big ass spinning attack that's high. That does like a shitload of damage. He does a little hop, but it's not like a low crush at all. But you could float him if you interrupt it. Or maybe like Nina's while running 1 plus 2, the while running blonde bomb. I think it's while running 1 plus 2. That's another one. It might, it might low crush for like 1 or 2 frames, but uh. In general, it's really just that you float her when you hit her. It's not really like a... Whatchamacallit? A, a proper low crush. Alright. <clears throat> rule applies. Now, so we have a hard line rule now. 12 frame low is what you want to deal with that. Uh, that's one of the things where you're going to want to know your matchup. But you could still run a risky mix-up when this is blocked. Right? And the same thing goes for this. All right, so um, the only thing you should, uh, you should know is I'm pretty sure the armor move is unsafe. Um, yeah, negative 11. Not too bad. Yeah, negative 11. Not bad at all. Uh, the 
last move. Okay, so hashtag kick, we got that out of the way. Samba's next. Okay. Ah, yes. So basically, this is like uh, the old infamous back 1 4. It's basically the second kick by itself. It is also a counter hit jungle starter if you go into the low. Much like how, you know, back 1 4, 3 plus 4 used to be a counter hit jungle starter, it's not anymore. But this used to be a counter hit jungle starter for a shitload of damage, as you can see. Um, but now. A 14 frame counter hit jungle starter at that. But now it's just uh, that. Just like it used to be. 32 damage. Um, you can also press forward 4 3. Four, four, three. Uh, there it is. So there's uh, that extension. So you got forward four three, and forward four three three plus four. Negative fourteen. Negative eleven. To the negative ten. Weird. Uh, same thing as before. Negative fourteen. All right. That's what stops you from mashing a uh, jab, but then if you block the last one, this obviously you get a 14 frame punisher. So whatever your 14 frame punisher is, you can do it there. I don't remember what that hit is at the moment, at least. Uh, it's not much else to this move. by itself. There's not much going on. Negative on hit. So it's like, go oh, follow that shit up. And those are the only two extensions, aren't they? Oh, no, there it is. That's what I was looking for before. All right. Now, this is what we got to be wondering on. This might be good. Hell, this might be better than forward three. It says plus seven here, but this thing has lied to me before. Let's see. Oop, forward three. Four, four. Know right now for sure. It's kind of crazy that his arm remove, um, his arm move, um, fuck, where am I thinking? His arm remove crushes highs, kind of, or just at least is evasive enough to make him auto sidestep highs. So the fact that he still has enough armor tells me that the 12 frame low rules gonna apply here too on block. That even on block he's able to armor through my 10 frame jab, which means he's gonna have the same frames. And of course, once again here I'm debating, but I bet you if I pick any other fucking character, I think he's interrupting that one. <laughs> And that, that, that time he actually interrupted the, the faster one. See, now he is. So it's definitely an any issue. So the 12 frame low is going to apply here. For sure. And you know what else is a giveaway here? It says punish. It's not, it's, uh, it's not punishing. It's making, it, well it is. It's making it whiff because he's low profiling under the mid or he's automatically off axis and sidesteps the mid. And then he's going under the high to punish. With punish, basically. Alright. So, uh, I like that we have some consistency. I can't even talk, but consistency <laughs> here. I appreciate that. Same rules always. When it hits, you could force a better mix up. Using the handstand throw, handstand low to go with whatever. Handstand mid of your choice. I'll get more into the handstand shit when I get into it on the move list, which 
This movie is too long for me to say it's going to be today. I usually do these in two parts. But yeah. Have that to look forward to. Alright, uh. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yeah, I went through this already. I think it's a counter hit string, too, isn't it? Okay, the first two hits are counter hit. Uh. Whoops. Okay, if the second hit counter hits by itself, it combos. Only on counter hit. Okay. Counter hit only for all this stuff. 4 4 by itself, negative 12. Alright. So you can't really get too crazy with this stuff. This stuff is all unsafe and you can mash on him. But mashing on him is what opens up the other stuff. I do know if he goes low, you can still mash on him. If you block the, the, the mid. Maybe not. Yikes. Yes, thought so. Even Eddie could do this. This is an old tag two trick, right? So what's going on here is tag two. Remember, this was the big thing. This. So the first thing, like, you got to know about that is, even if he were to stand, let me just record him doing it. As long as you hold back, it's going to make that whiff. At worst, you'll get hit by the first low, and it won't trip you. And when that happens, you can float him. Another thing you can do is you can sidestep after the kick. Uh, see? And then that will definitely make the, only the first one hit. And then you can float him every time. See? It's a punish, so he can't armor. It's a whiff punish. It counts as a punish, so he's still in recovery. Um, that still works here. Even if he just does the first kick. So it could fuck up the mix-up if he sidestep it's a block. Well, like that. Right? Oh yeah, I forgot. It actually dodges both options. <laughs> Even Eddie could get around it. Uh, I thought it was sidestep right though. This might be because it's Eddie and he's on it already leading towards that side with his stance. Either way it goes, like always, you could sidestep in one direction to beat them both. And the rule still applies. Never gonna give you a. Too slow there. So. If you're a gut steady, keep that in mind. If you don't know that, then you turn this low into like that, into like, or into the mid, into a mix up, which kind of isn't even without all that stuff because there's a different enough animation that you can kind of see the low, but it doesn't even need to get that far. Anyway. Yep. A separate kick. Ah, uh, yeah, so this is an Oki move. Uh, I'm pretty sure this floor breaks. Hard knockdown, no tech. I don't, think it's, I don't know if there's anything guaranteed if you hit somebody standing with it. But I think this is really just the Oki 2 that hits grounded. I don't think people use this. Negative 4, that's not that bad. And it is 17 frames, which is not the slowest thing in the world. I don't know if there's any crushing going on here. Huh. Interesting. Huh. 
Looky what we have here. If the second kick connects by itself, this is a mid-hitting negative four on block juggle starter. Pretty good. Uh, my guess is there might be some ways to set this up off of like a Oki situation because this is already, like I said, a good Oki uh, Oki move. Picks people grounded. So if they tech into that second kick, and you're pretty sharp, you might be able to confirm. I have a, I have a sow. I have a sow. I have a sow. Doesn't even need a counter hit. So that's a pretty fucking cheap move. <laughs> if I was, if I say so myself. Uh, I don't know if he has anything guaranteed on normal hit. Like maybe no, that doesn't look like it. That's his fastest low, as far as I can tell, and he's blocking it. And I can't really mash that, because that comes out. But on regular hit, you can so... Sorry. On regular hit, you can totally force a, a mix-up with a low. And oh, wait, that's the second hit again. On regular hit, you can totally force a back uh, two versus whatever low mix-up, right? Because they're not going to tech it. They're going to stand straight up and block. A lot of A players like do this two of them back to back. Um, there's something about this move also. I think it has variable frame data. Hard to test though. Is that right? I think this has variable frame data. I don't know. It says there's four active frames in the second bot, but the second bot has lied to me before. So it's hard to tell. Assuming that four active frames thing is true, though, you can make this as good as zero. On, zero or negative one on block. I don't know my math's a little weird. Uh, eh, negative three. The classic. Although that is guaranteed, I think, if you time it right. But if I delay it a bit, negative three. Basically, this shit does everything. As your oak, as your go-to Oki move, this shit does it all. So it's a good, it's a really good move, and it's even better than I thought from standing. So if you're kind of spacing this out, I mean, don't whiff it. If you whiff it, get fucked, right? But if you space this out, that's pretty fucking cheap. That's pretty, there it is. That's the guaranteed low. That's pretty fucking cheap. That guaranteed low is cool because it rescales to 80% for 11 damage. It's a lot like Gigas's uh, combo ender. The down forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2. The last hit of that always does 16 damage because it rescales. And you cannot tech it. Uh, that's a really fucking good move. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, next. Mao Squeda. This is his uh, 13 frame Punisher. And uh, 13 frame mid poke by itself, I guess. Negative 2 on block. But he can't, he can't really do the sidestep game, so... And it's only negative four for the second hit, so I guess you can always do the second hit. But does it jail? Probably not. Yep, thought so. And he has no built-in mid. But you can totally go down forward one over and over again. Just like any other 13 frame mid poke. It's just not as good for him. Because he can't really do the sidestep thing. He kind of has to like use that instead of actually sidestepping. Really shitty damage, <laughs> down forward 1-1. One, one. But if you if you uh, get an opponent that's negative 13 and recovers uh, crouching, but you're standing for some reason, uh, I can't, I don't know, is there anything like that? I don't know if there's anything like that right now, but this will punish it. Whatever. For shitty damage. Not much else to say about that. It is plus 8, which is really nice on hit. And plus this for the first hit. Ah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I knew there was something. I knew it. 13 frame mid, it's a handstand. Ooh, here we go again. Alright. I already know the rule for testing this, so we're gonna we're gonna try to just test it with the arm move first. Uh, forward, right? Oh, armor, armor. <clears throat> 
Ugh. Fuck it up, Manny. Alright. Ah, here we go. So this is definitely, like, a lot more safe. 13 frame interrupts armor? Alright, this is really bad. Uh... What's 16 frames standing? That's 80 frames. Uh, 17 frames? Didn't I send out 17 frames before? So yeah, definitely you can go for a slow low and punish this one. This is always punishable on block if your goods are react to a 13 frame mid poke going into handstand without any delay with no block stun. Then hey, go for it. <laughs> Easier said than done. Let's put it that way, right? But on hit, uh, let's see. Yeah, on hit he's good. Yep, on hit, he's great. The jab is the only thing you got. Which opens up the, you know, the super unsafe and risky, but super evasive handstand duck launch. He doesn't have to come into the launch in handstand, by the way. He could just do a duck. Because I'll be here sucking his own dick for a while, and then while you whiff a few times, then he could go low or whatever, right? That's why my recommendation is to go low against that kind of stuff. Just hit him out of it. You don't have to get, you know, if you could get good damage when you hit him out of it, fine. But priority number one is just hit him out of it. Even if it's like five damage, just hit him out of it, don't deal with it, move on. Uh, and then of course, pretty much through that. I don't think that Hive has any counter properties. Yeah, no, nothing to it. Oops. Oh, this is the classic. The fucking classic obnoxious capo move. This is like the moves that the move that the good capos players abuse. Although in this game, I don't think it's as good as it used to be. I feel like this used to be more evasive. So here's the thing. This shit used to be like negative 10 on block on the dot. But that force is gone. Now it's negative 7. They knew they were negative 9. Wow, variable maybe? Negative seven to negative nine? Two active frames, whatever. Negative nine. Because before, like, it was impossible to block punish this shit. You have to be, like, right in this motherfucker's face. And even then, your jabs were gonna fucking win. It was so fucked up. And then he would do two of them back to back, right? And then you would try to jab and he would clip your ass. And then on counter hit, it would launch. Uh, sorry. On counter hit, it would launch you. So if you try to do a one two jab and he ducks under and it elbows you for counter hit. And then on regular hit, you know, it gives him a free, a free whatever bullshit. Uh, but I don't know if it always gave him a free follow-up. I do feel like it always gave him good Oki, though. Like, whatever the fucking... Whatever. It always gave him good Oki, and it, it used to be really easy to float your opponent if they did stupid shit during that. Now that floating has been nerfed a lot, it's not as good, so you might as well just go for the guaranteed follow-up. Safe on block, super cheap. Uh, you don't really have to space it out anymore because, like I said, it's safe. But even if you, even then, uh, uh, and also I think it used to push back more. It does kind of like keep him far away. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to space it. But I would be careful because you don't want this to whiff. But this shit was so cheap that they would make you block it from the tip and do it again. So fucked up. But still, very important move. Counter hit launcher, it's an elbow, cannot be uh, generic countered. And uh, on regular hit, forward plus three plus four, as long as you're quick, seems to be guaranteed. Let me record it on myself just in case. Yeah, see? I'm 
holding back. Because you can't uh, attack that. It causes a nosebleed stun, but it causes what would happen if you would hold down during a nosebleed stun. That just happens for you automatically here. Nosebleed stun is when, you know, they, they hold their nose like that when they get hit. See? And usually you would have to hold down to get that sort of knockdown. This move specifically just causes that to happen every time a normal hit, regardless. Like, uh, Master Raven has a lot of that going on, in case you didn't know. A whole ton of nosebleed for Master Raven. I think she has like five fucking nosebleed moves. She's crazy. Island Mirage. Yet another way to go to handstand, just like this, right? Except we got the kick by itself. Uh, it says negative five just like before. I'm gonna say it's the same rule set as the one three. It doesn't seem like it does any more pushback, or any less even. Maybe it's easier to chase down, I don't know. Oh, it forces Crouch. Alright, so interrupts 13 frames, but 11 frames loses. Uh, uh, it loses to 11, fr 11 frames, just like that. So what that tells me is... Uh, what was the info for this? Uh, down forward three, okay. Cause a whiff to happen. How do you stay in handstand? Does he have? A, does he have a way to do the launcher without? it goes if you press nothing afterwards a uh, while standing four is gonna whiff now on block on the other hand first of all on block you recover standing so this shit is really bad on block the wrong move, didn't I? Yeah, you <laughs> the spacing is still in your favor. That's just so slow that it's hitting him after the armor startup. That's what's going on there. As far as how to fight against this, if the Eddie player is mashing, backdash, he will whiff himself because he's causing so much space. He's creating so much space himself. So, you know, you could that's a double uh, edged sword. Because he creates so much space, you don't have to run in. You can backdash, and then when he whiffs, you launch his ass, right? That's how you take care of that. Hold on a second. My sister, sorry. I'll ignore that for now. So yeah, basically the same rule as his 1-3. Um, though I would be very careful with his 1-3 in general still. Of course, we got into negativa. Relaxed. Which I think 1-3 also did, so it's going to be the same rule set, right? Yeah, you could hit his ass. Oh, wow. 
actually pretty shitty. So he has to use the handstand to stop you from doing the while standing forward. Alright, take it easy, video games. So basically, if you have a wall standing for that hits them in a situation, some of them might whiff. Like uh, maybe lilies, the ones that weird that kick upward, they might whiff. I don't know. But uh, yeah, let me mute my phone because it's gonna get annoying. So yeah, generally the same rules that seems to apply. Meat Cat Crusher, that's a fucked up name for a move. I know this low on counter hit gives him that guaranteed. I don't know if that gives him anything else. Nope. Um, negative one on, on hit, but we got a lot of space here that we created. So negative one on hit into a backdash, you're going to make pretty much anything with. You know what I'm saying? So... Even though the neg you know negative one and negative one ain't a big deal if you were to swing after it, but Eddie is not the kind of character that's like setting up ten frame counter hits. You know what I'm saying? He's the kind of character that's gonna make you whiff. So this negative one, this being negative one, is not a big deal. What is a big deal is the space that he creates when he hits you. It's a lot like Shaheen's down four. So Shaheen's down four is plus one on him. So negative one ain't a big deal. You can always backdash. You can always just go, uh, you know, fish because that has a lot of range, as you can see. Pretty damn good range. Look at that. Ooh. Break your ankles. Not quite that much range. Oof. That's just the weird ass uh, Eddie moving around thing. A stationary character will get hit by that pretty easily. And then the moment they uh, whiff, that get the down forward uh, plus three plus four locked and loaded. The moment they whiff, bam, you know? Uh, what is this on block? Negative 14. So some characters can launch this. This is one of those that Eddie will be able to launch because he recovers standing. So while standing 1-3, one, uh, one, we'll launch that. 13 frame high. Uh, Jin has a while standing 14 frame launcher. Kazuya is 13. Uh, yeah. And then on counter hit 4 plus 3 plus 4 guarantee. This is the 15 frame launcher. Uh, like I said, this is. Do you float when you block this? This is like negative a lot. Yeah, okay, he doesn't float. So you get your full on uh, launcher on this. Negative 23. So you can launch it with whatever launcher you want, as long as it reaches. Which it should, unless you block it super shallow, right? But that is his uh, 15 frame block punish. And it seems to have decent range on its own. Yeah, pretty decent range. Uh, this is one of them, alright. This is a counter hit string, I believe. No? Oh. Counter hits Uh, negative five on block. So he can't really mix you up when he hits you, obviously. When he, uh, when he block it, obviously. The counter hit, it combos. But as you can see here, there is a ton of space created. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually one of the shitty ones. Let me see something. Plus 14, you say. Ooh. Frame rate dropped to 49. Yikes. Okay. So yeah, still do that mix up. 
But you definitely cannot do the uh, launch mix up. For sure. See? He didn't even need to backdash. No backdash needed. So don't go for the large mix it after that. Either way it goes, that's pretty much a uh, Oki tool in general, and as a lot of you have seen, I'm sure, with by John the Ding, at the end of a combo, if you do that and spike him, you generally get the Relax 3 guaranteed. I don't know the rules for that, though. It seems like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't really know. But, uh... Yeah, see, that's generally how it works. So I, I don't know what the optimized jugglers are, but I know that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on how many hits, maybe what angle you're at or whatever, I don't know. I wouldn't use this otherwise. Negative five on block means you could definitely punish uh, him with a quick low. Hey, 15 frame low. 16. Whatever that is. 18 frame low. So go with a quick low or a quick mid that would hit him if he were to stay down. Right? If he were to stay down, like I'm sure Eddie would get his back too. Right? Maybe not the second hit, but the back two by itself is going to definitely connect. Back three will work too. Some characters might get better shit. You'll never be able to float him for a juggle though, because he's only negative five. So you'll never, you'll probably never get a full juggle out of this. Probably, maybe, I don't know. But you could definitely get a free hit. Head him, bop. This is the one I keep doing by accident. So this is just a straight up mid launcher that he does out of a lot of shit to fake out. The raw one, I don't know about the raw one. 20 frame mid. Man. Lads and relax. Um, negative 14. Remember the rule, the relaxed rule. It applies here. The relaxed rule. See? It applies. Um, how would Geese punish that? I think Geese has a unique way to punish. Well, Geese could always just down forward at Pukin, no matter what. Even though it's a float high enough for a juggle. So yeah, that's negative 14. If you don't have access to a 14, 13 frame float that will hit him there, then just hit him with something like a stomp if you got that. That's gonna work. Or something hard that hits grounded. Oh, this is a weird ass one. Plus three, negative three. Okay, there it's plus three. So this is a plus on hit, high crushing low. A little slow, a little on the slow side at 21 frames. Nothing special on counter hit. It causes that knockdown on hit. Uh, sorry, not that knockdown. Right? That, not, that animation where he puts his hands down. That's what I'm gonna say. See? Okay. And he, he recovers standing. Go figure. Plus three recovers standing. Frame trap, uh, frame trap for a one plus two three. There's something for it. Also, Frey Trap for forward 214. 
Uh, what is this on block? Only negative 13 on block, but he recovers crouching. Remember what I told you, Eddie cannot launch this. It's gonna whiff. Weird ass inputs, Eddie. There it is. Whiff city. Whiff. Oh, punish? Wait, what? Excuse you? Oh, you spoke too soon, Manny. He recovers standing. I should have known because he recovers standing on hit. Why did I think he recovered crouching? Because it looks like he recovers crouching. So Eddie could launch it. That's a lot of damage for a uh, 13 frame launcher. But yeah. For the most part, you're not going to get launched very often for this. Ah, this one. This is a counter hit only. Yep. Good damage. Negative 13 on block, but the, uh, this is a weird one. I, I know that this is, uh, the spacing here is weird when he recovers, so he actually makes a lot of shit whiff. Uh, I don't know if it actually counts as him ducking. Find out. Okay. Eddie's covered. So just negative thirteen. I feel like I've seen certain things whiff against this though when he when he when you uh, block it, but it might just be bad memory, I don't know. But it seems like Eddie will consistently punish him with his 11 frame while standing 4 and his 13 frame launcher the while standing 1, 3. So you're good. Uh, I think this is more of like a juggle ending tool for a spike. After a, after a core screw, you know that you get that spike. Especially at the wall, that might be good. Uh, I think it used to be a bound move. Outside of that, I don't know if there's anything really worthwhile here. Let's see. Yeah, nothing special about the second hit by itself, except pretty good damage. Uh, the down four by itself is negative five. On hit and on counter hit. And the damage is kind of whatever. It does seem to move Eddie right, as you can see. It's circling around him slowly. But yeah. Nothing crazy going on here. It is mid mid, a uh, low mid, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. <clears throat> this is the counter hit low mid. Right? Definitely no confirm. But it does a ton of damage. 18 frame startup. And high crushes. So if you go up, come at you with a 1-2 jab, this should blow them up. So keep an eye out. If you notice people are 1-2 jabbing at a certain time, there you go. If they just do a 1 jab though, don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Super bad on block. <laughs> Keep an eye out for when people like to one two jab. That's when that's when like these high crushing counter hit launches like this. That's when they're they, they really shine, you know? Like, oh this guy's doing one two jab, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna duck the one and then you're gonna counter hit the two. Alright. Stop it, Eddie. Alright. <laughs> Now I'm actually, ooh, this is a weird one. This starts a bunch of shit, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I think in most instances, this is natural combo, unless he's at a weird angle. I think? Yeah, see? Yeah. 
Oh no, it's not that it's a... Uh, okay, it's always a natural combo. It's that it doesn't always knock down. If you like hit him slightly off to the side, it doesn't knock down. Like it's really hard to do it against Eddie, but yeah, see, that's what happens. And when that happens, you're actually plus nine, which is nice. Uh, but this is a wall splat, and that's nice to have. A low high wall splat. Low high. It's pretty good. Also, I'm pretty sure. Hard to do. Here's how I'll do it. Yep. That high is a counter hit. Juggle starter. Which means if they were to block this low, which is uh, apparently negative 18. <laughs> negative, that's really bad on block. If they were to block this and uh, carelessly swing at you, they're going to eat that high. And that high. Negative three on block high. That's just the start of this string. There's a lot going on here with this string. So, you could while standing four interrupt. Not with while standing one though. So you can 11 frame interrupt, 13 frame loses. Which means that uh, 12 frame will exchange. What's up, Psycho? Crawl Trigger is best game. Crawl Trigger before Persona 4 was my favorite game of all time. Ah, that's killing me. So, so far the rules for this. 11 frame interrupts the high. He automatically moves to his right. Natural combo. If you go anything slower, you're gonna get knocked out like that so if you come up with a 12 frame high I hope it's like a knockback one you know what I'm saying uh, if he does the low by itself it's super unsafe you can ob obviously of course low parry uh, natural combo uh, when it's slightly off axis like that it's gonna not knock down but for the most part it knocks down I don't know how to make it knock down but it's weird when it doesn't knock down he's plus nine but there's a lot of space created so be careful what you swing with that's just the beginning of this move, though. Now we got a handstand uh, cancel. One that creates a lot of space. Uh, kind of tough, but he, you know, but he manages it. Does Brian have a... Um... Hold on a second. What's Brian's 14 frame mids? Other than down forward uh, 2, which is 13 frames. So I'm wondering if this is the same rule as like this. It looks like it creates, oh no, that creates way more space. As does that. So maybe it's not quite as good as that. So let's do the old arm remove tests. Oops, is it back or forward? The old arm move test works, all right. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, so Brian doesn't have a really good punish. Any really good punishes against Eddie. Yep, you're right. <laughs> that alone tells me enough. All right, so, um, yeah, he's still getting the armor here for 10 frames. Of course, it's on hit that I'm testing this, but still. Ah. Okay. So in this case, on hit, treat it like the other mids. The mid transitions, like, like not like that. But the mid transitions like that, treat it as if you block the mid transition, the low. 
It's the same uh, mix-up. His armor move is gonna hit, hit you out of fast pokes. Um, the fast pokes will float the float the uh, mid kick attempt, the 12 frame mid, which is a uh, handstand four. Uh, the handstand four will beat out the lows, but the lows will beat out the armor move. That's the little triangle here we got going on. You can take it further if you have like a hard read that you want to make. Oh shit, what up, Milo? Uh, you know, best you're gonna do against Eddie when Brian is down back two. I thought so, but down back two won't float. That's why I was asking. You can't, basically, Brian will be unable to, one of the characters that will be unable to float him for that. Actually, let me test something out for you. Doesn't Brian have generic down four from standing? No, he doesn't. He doesn't, right? Uh, he doesn't. Down four is preoccupied, down forward four is preoccupied. And down back four? Wait, down back four? Down back four is not a move. Brian doesn't have 12 frame low, huh? Let's see, I can help you out real quick. This also help any players with the Brian matchup. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Brian Fury, Eddie Gordo. What is down back four? I don't remember a down back four being a move for Brian. Get ready for the next <clears throat> he do. The question is, does he get anything for doing it? It's uh, full crouch like that, right? If only he were able to convert off of that. Like, if a wall steady three connected, that would be all you need. Uh, wall steady three, and then you were gonna drop him, right? <laughs> nah, die back three is too slow. Uh, the rule here is you need 14 frames or faster. And generic low is 12 frames. Down back three is 15. Oh, sorry, 16. Down four is. Uh, what is down four? Now four is fifteen. You see how it hits him as if he were he were grounded. The moment you get to fifteen, if it were fourteen, he gets floated. See, as if you were to catch people back rolling in the older games, basically. <laughs> Maybe a while, instant instant while standing B with zero frames wasted. Maybe. <laughs> Question answered. Nah, Brian's fine. I mean, just because he can't float punish that, it's not the biggest deal. It, it, it does make that move more obnoxious. Uh, like, you know, very obnoxious. Like, if I were an Eddie player and I was fighting against Brian, I would probably lean more towards making that sort of read <laughs> with that move because he can't launch you for it, you know? But yeah. Unless you mash. If you mash after he blocks that, you're gonna get fucking hit hard, right? Don't mash. That's the answer. Get ready for the next Any hot kick against Brian is hard. Oh yeah, because his block punish sucks, right? Well, hey, you got a 14 frame launcher at least. Make do. <laughs> you can't have it all. 
Um, so yeah, I was talking about this move. So... There's a lot going on with this move. We know the handstand shit is going on too now. Let me uh, put it back up here. Damn, I've already gone through 40, like 40 moves? As you can see, down back three is from number 40, move number 41 to move number 49. It's all preoccupied by down back three. As you can see, see I told you guys there was a lot going on with this move. He could do the hot plate special of course and all the other shit, circle kick. All right, but anyway, ciabatta, ciabatta, delicious. Bada bread is fucking delicious. If you've never had it in your life, I highly recommend it. I think it's Jewish bread? Maybe not. I don't know who made ciabatta. Whoever made it, thumbs up to you guys. Bialy's Jewish, right? Bialy's delicious too. I love Bialy. Um, anyway. This is... Okay. So, we're going back to the handstand thing. Nope. So he makes that transition to handstand on block two. And ooh, look at the spacing. Look at the spacing. Look at the spacing. Oh, lucky you, right? This is the kind of tricky shit where wh whoever you main, if it's not Eddie, you gotta test, like, that low is a big one. I know, I know for a fact that low is used very often. Especially with the transitions like that. You gotta know what reaches them the moment you block that fucking low. You need to know what reaches them. Otherwise, you're gonna, it's gonna be with City, and he's gonna push you on your ass. Or oh, in that case, they got floated. Fucking hell, not floating him. God damn it, Eddie, you weirdo. There we go, see? It also could just be Eddie, because Eddie kicks, like, circular. It's fucking weird. Yep, yep, yep. You can definitely launch flips with highs. Flips what? He only crushes later and recovery feeling. What flips? What's it taste like? Ciabatta? Ciabatta tastes like really good tasting bread. I don't, I don't have a description for it. <laughs> Uh, mock punch whiffs. Wait, what move are you talking about? Let me see. Uh, lock and double flip. No, Law's double flips are super unsafe. Super duper unsafe. Uh, yeah, Law's double flips. You're gonna, you, you, you definitely have something for it. I forget how nice double flips are, but... Flips are at least negative 17. Alright. So anyway. Man, especially if this is a shallow, or this is block shallow, which is kind of hard to do. Maybe not. <laughs> it could just be Eddie shit being weird. I think my music just ended. Let me loop it back up there. Bam. See you Blade 2. Next we got... It's a mid. Pretty sure you could interrupt this too. Does a, it, it uh, seems to go into the high, but it's slow. I mean, while standing, launches catches ass. And on hit, you definitely can't do shit about it. That's a knockdown for a free follow-up, I think, for sure.
Maybe not. He recovers pretty slow. Yeah, maybe not. Wow. It knocks down, but he recovers pretty damn slow. Let's see. Negative 14. No, negative 15. Oh, never mind. That little shitty. I'm sorry. That mid is shitty. But it's another option as a deterrent for swinging against them. Uh, 15. What's 16? The low. Okay, so negative 15. On the dots. Oh, no, wait. What the fuck? Is that hitting him on a 16th frame? There it is. Maybe it was. Um, negative 15 on the dot for that puppy. All right. Now we got the little hot play special. <laughs> Look at the crazy ass angle he went at. Negative five. So once again, quick low. 15, 16 frame low that hits grounded. That's how you punish this. If he hits you though. If he hits you, you gotta buy into the mix-up. Not the launch mix-up, but the single hit mix-up, pretty much. Or the 1-3. Uh, Man, 1-3 is really good. I didn't know it was that good. I really thought he needed a counter hit. Uh, relax 1-3, I should say. 1-3 by itself is kind of shitty. Relax 1-3, though, that's really good. So, either way, same hot play special, same as it was before. That's not indifferent there. That's the one that combos, knocks down, normal hit, counter hit on the high, jungle starter, negative three on block. Remember that. If you block the low uh, while standing forward, it's erupted by anything slower. You'll eat that high. The one thing that, that's uh, going on here is when you block the low, it seems like you can... It seems like 11 frames is going to be able to interrupt everything, for the most part. That's the one real weakness I see here. But if he hits you with the low, you kind of have to respect all his shit. Oh, and then he can go low, low. <laughs> Alright. Woo! That's an accident because I was holding back. There we go. See, once again, same thing. Look at that. Of course, you can still block that low. Safe! Safe on block! Ooh. Negative seven, ladies and gentlemen. Low parry, even if it hits you. Even if it hits you, low parry. So if you, if you think low low is coming, low parry that ass. Uh, plus nine on hit, is that right? Oops. He recovers crouching, huh? Yeah. Plus nine. Uh, at least when I was playing that low, I was slow on my jet upper. This man could duck every time. <laughs> uh, if you block the first slow mash, well, you gotta be careful. Uh, he can make it whiff, right? Let me let me record this again for you, guys. See, that's what I'm sure about. Will it whiff? Okay. Yes. Mash a 11 frame. While standing 4, while standing 1 if you're Gigas or whatever, right? Mash your 11 framer or if you block that first low. Honestly, I think I almost want to recommend low parry above low blocking gets Eddie. Kind of like with Josie. Because why deal with all that weird shit 
you'll get more reward out of it. You'll, you'll get overall more reward out of low parrying him than you would otherwise. Right? So... That's what I'm starting to think here. But yeah, if you do end up blocking that shit, just while standing forward. There doesn't seem to be anything he can do about it if you while standing forward is something. Alright, everything is too slow. Oops, I'm mashing. See? Uh, yeah, low pairing is uh, really cheap. It was made a lot better ever since second six made it piss easy to low parry. And DR, you had to really time that shit. It was much more reward when he did it, though. Oh, it's a fake out. It's a fake out. Here we go. This is another one that's uh, negative 14, I think. See? Negative 14, same rule. If you have a 14 frame... Oh, you can also interrupt that. But if you block it, you have a 14 frame that floats. In this case, Eddie obviously has a 13 frame that, that will float that. Uh, Geese, I believe when he recovers standing, you could back plus three float and then down four forward three. If you're a Geese player. And then back four four for a corkscrew, run up, finish it, whatever. So yeah, that's just a long, uh, fake out launcher. It's like, oh, is he going low? And then you gotta be ready for that delayed animation. Pretty gimmicky. You could also sidestep this, I know that. I just can't really test it as any. Of course, you can go low, low, also. Ooh, look what we got here. That's plus 10. Yeesh. Okay, that's not a natural combo. You cannot low parry that last slow, though, if the... The second oh you can I'll take it back big enough gap I didn't know counter hit it combos I think I got it to combo one time I don't know how I did it I'll counter hit it's not comboing but it comboed one time earlier and I'm starting to wonder if it was just the angle or something Weird. It's called Thong Bikini. <laughs> thong Bikini, huh? Alright. Alright, Eddie. Alright. Uh... There's a lot going on with this string. It's kind of fucking nuts. Plus 10, man. Plus 10! Crying Needle Impact. Oh, I know this one. This is the one where he, like, leans his face towards you and hits you, right? Pa-pa. There it is, right? So I know that that's unsafe, but the mid-mid is a natural combo. Natural combo knockdown. But it is negative 14. So punish it with your 14 frame, whatever the fuck. Right? Uh, 
And if the low counter hits you, the mid is gonna combo. The second low. Yeah, so if that second low counter hits you, you're gonna eat that mid mid. So negative 14, Brian can launch this with jet upper. Geese with back three, two into a cancel, of course. All that good shit. Barbed wire. All right, so we're missing a move here. Bomba can eat a low kick too, can transition into handstand. This fucking move set is failing me. Look at what we got here when I hold back. And let me guess, if I hold down, he's gonna go into... No, okay. Fucking legit. This is legit. You recover standing, but since he's plus 10, that crazy ass handstand animation, he seems to be good to fucking go. Man, with punish. Uh, so the rule, the, uh, oh, you block, no, not that. The blocking this handstand rule seems to apply to this. Yep, see? It beats the low. Since he's hitting you, though, I need to test 12 frame low. Because before it was blocking. Something tells you that 12 frame low might still be okay. I don't know. We'll see. Isn't anyone just fuzzy low parry versus Eddie these days? If only it were that simple. What's up, Strangler? What's going on? I'm fucking hungry. That's what's up. Um, I only do it slow spring. I don't know why. My low parry combo in stress situations, the false Kazuya's. My low parry combo sucks. I, I'm never ready for low parries anymore because I've been playing so many fucking characters. Uh, so the first one was. Uh, oh, I gotta hold back. <clears throat> so that's the first one. Yep. 12 frame low rule applies, even to this issue. 12 frame low will always interrupt. You may not get anything for free because he's off axis and shit, as you can see. Oh. Nope. Alright, because of his weird ass angle, but for free. Oh, wrong move. <clears throat> Uh, four. Yep, 12 frame rule still applies. Same thing with before though with the angle, I think. Yeah. Uh, I thought so. Yeah, you can cancel the second low into it also. So all three lows you can cancel to handstand by holding back. Whoa, this one's better. No 12 frame low rule here. Frame data wise, the second one has you covered. How about for jabs? Yeah! The second low is legit! The second low is super legit. I cannot jab that. No, that 
that's the armor move. That's 18 frames. Oh, wow. His 18 frame minutes beating out my 12 frame. That means 11 frames would exchange with him. There you have it. You can really force that shit. he blocked that second one you should probably low period instead actually yeah remember low period because the second one is actually safe on block if there's a transition low period that shit don't buy into that so that's my suggestion if you if you don't want to buy into any of this shit after his down back three low parry if you think he's going low and then deal with the mids accordingly by block punishing or whatever Man, I'm getting fucking hungry. And I wanted to get a workout in today, but I feel like I'm gonna need a snack. You know what? Let me snack now and try to finish this. And then, uh. I'm not gonna, like, pause or anything. I'm gonna grab some. chocolate. Dark chocolate covered almonds. Dark chocolate covered almonds. And snack on these. And put a little more time into this. And then by then I'll have digested this and I can do my workout. But I won't touch it with my filthy hands. So I gotta eat it like a child. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the Down Mac Reasoners. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Next, we got Barbed Wire, the infinite. Right? Day to 15, when he stops, interrupt, interrupt, ah, negative 15 if he stops, exchanges with 15 frames, so if you got a 14 frame launcher, you can just hit him, you don't have to respect this, obviously. Trash. That move sucks. This might interrupt you. Ooh, you could do that. You do it at any point. Okay. Ah, yes. Okay, that interrupts jabs. Gimmicky! You might even be able to sidestep this, but I can't test with any. You can do that. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Another, mm, here's another way to beat this. Since this one comes out faster, if I backdash, I'm going to block it. But the one that comes out slow, if I backdash, it's going to whiff. When you block that, I'm pretty sure it's unsafe. I'll find out right now. It sure is. Float his ass. I mean, honestly, I could just do that and beat both. But it's better to be ready to float his ass if he does the other thing. A little too slow. Be better if you could uh, tell a difference and be ready to launch his ass. Either way, right? Can you do the follow up after the first? Yeah, you can. I did it before. It's back four at any point. That shit on block, he cannot armor through you for doing a, a fast uh, mid. 15 frames, obviously. still gonna work and honestly well whatever don't worry about it don't worry too much about it you're gonna be covered no matter what he does double arm stinger that's what it is oh this this is a fucked up move this is safe on block I believe Yeah, negative seven on block, negative six even. It's just really slow, 30 frames. This is one of those though, if you space it a little bit, it is, it might as well be a safe on block backswing blow launcher. But the range is shit as you can see. The range is very shit, very shit. You basically have to be coming in, attacking him to get hit by that. So, make that shit with, if you think it's coming especially.
Alright. Negative six. The two highs are they jail. Jail, jail. Um if that first high counter hits you, the second high guaranteed. Basically the third and fourth hits. And safe on block. The first kick as you saw earlier, juggle starter on counter hit. It's pretty cheap. On normal hit, nothing uh, crazy. Oh, excuse me, plus 11? Plus 11? Plus 11, huh? It's the plus 11 with guard. Oh, look at this. You can hold down. Oh. Movements don't tell you that. Haha. <laughs> One of those. That hits. You could do the big boy mix up for sure. As long as you're close. Just like the uh, handstand low. This is why I wish I had the um, fucking what you call it. Uh, I can't remember the website. Uh, RB Norio put aside. They would have mentioned this move. As far as holding back goes. It looks like it creates a lot of space. Definitely slow. The frames aren't in his in his favor, but the spacing works out. Even if I swing at him. Spacing definitely works out in his favor. If you if you swing at him. I mean if you both swing at the same time after that. If he if make him swing by himself, then it doesn't matter, right? Oops. And he whipped one, right? Interesting move. The double kick by itself, negative 10. Yep, and you cannot swing because of the high. This is a really good string. This is a good string, and that first double kick is a good move by itself. It's just a uh, really slow startup. What is it? 30 frame startup? Really slow. Gotta be careful. He just created a lot of space off. Look at that counter hit. Too bad it's too slow to counter hit the one too. Yeah, it's too slow. Yep. 
So you're more likely setting it up that way for the crush. You're more likely gonna get a regular hit, not a counter hit. It's still a really good string. One of the few ways you can force the 50 50 launch from, um, relax. If you hold down and get, as long as you hit and you hold down, you're recovering right in his fucking face. So you can treat it the same as this. Of course, the classic, right? 14 frames. Back one, four. He's got here for the first two hits to connect, but you don't get that anymore, thank God. Same with that. So I don't know what purpose this serves anymore. Now that you can't fish for the counter hit, you can still sidestep after the first hit on block. I know that. Can't really do it with Eddie, but well, maybe you can. I, re I really don't. I guess that would be if you counter hit, you go into the uh, head headstand. You can go auto sidestep right out of that move and get around it. I don't know if Eddie can do a regular sidestep. Nope. He can't. Eddie's sidestep's too shitty. So I don't know if I'll use this anymore. tells me that this follows the good old rule. This follows the rule of um, forward three. Low beats armor. Uh, fast poke. Uh, fast low, I should say. Maybe 12 frame low beats at all. Let's find out. Is she able to generic low? Is her down four generic? I think it is. It used to be, I know that. Yes it is. 12 frame low. There it goes. Wow, she can't. The float isn't high enough. Either way it goes, the uh, 12 frame low rule still applies. Now I gotta know something. Take it easy, Kira. This game is running like shit. And with that new patch with all the fucking processors, that crazy thing is going on now, it's only gonna run worse for me. So Nina, 12 frames, 12 frames. Nina gets the juggles. 
Bad matchup, huh? I don't know. I had this fucking clown named Bloodica. Who's known for being a piece of shit already, right? I already haven't banned him from my channel. <laughs> He's known for being a lame ass online troll. Give me shit in my sway canceling video about backdash canceling with down on a sway character. As you can see, I'm completely out of practice, but I can still get it pretty damn consistently. And on two-piece side, I'm gonna suck dick with it because I don't practice on two-piece side in general. And I don't practice with sway characters. But I can still kinda do it. So Bloodyka, you're a bitch forever. Anyway. Also banned him from commenting on my YouTube. <laughs> Tournaments, Eddie Gordo. Eddie Gordo. Yeah, the no, method is fine if you're used to it, and it used to have to be necessary. This is now it's not as necessary as it used to be. The only downside I, I could think of to using mine is that you're probably vulnerable for more frames, like one or two more frames at best. To mids. That's the only downside that I can think of. It's gonna take someone a lot smarter than that clown to, to convince me otherwise, I'll tell you that much. Alright. District. So we know that on block, the 12 frame rule applies. But if you don't have access to a 12 frame low from standing, you kind of have to deal with the mix up. See, this is an Eddie thing specifically. The thing is telling me, just like before, it's telling me part of how I know. Eddie is low profiling under the mid. This, this, this is not a common thing. And the other characters trying 15 frame mids that high crush, they're gonna get hit by the mid, just like that. But Eddie's is fucking weird, and he low profiles his own shit. I fucked up. I did that already. <coughs> Might as well talk about this move. Safe on block, mid high, you can duck it. Really good with Punisher. Really, really, really good. Tail spin for jungles, right? You know about it. The back two, really fucking good hitbox. It's just short of um, hitting grounded. It doesn't hit grounded. But, let's really put the hitbox to the test. It hits relaxed. To the King of Iron you. It looks like it hits an elbow too. So Asuka might not be able to parry it or counter, excuse me. Reversal it. Duck, you gotta love it. Ooh. 
As you can see, it hits regular AOP fine. Any tips for backdashing on Pat? Uh, backdash canceling, I'm assuming you mean? Maybe my, if you look up my YouTube, the, the method I was just showing for the backsway characters, you could backdash cancel with down now. You always could, but it was not a good idea before because you wouldn't be blocking lows. Now you can block lows while, while uh, inputting down. So if you, if you uh, have trouble inputting down back, also, if you're not using a sway character, you could do the cheating method. You could do quarter circle back, and uh, it'll be fine. Like this. Which I'm actually not even used to doing anymore because of this stick, to be honest with you. It's unnatural. Yeah, it's not even coming out. I'm trying to make it a quarter circle back, and it's not coming out. And I keep getting that because I keep getting up inputs. Fucking Eddie. But yeah, you can just uh, double tap back, quarter circle back, back, quarter circle back, back, quarter circle back. You can totally do that if you want. If you're using a sway character, double tap back down, back, back down, back, back down, back, back down. And you gotta be consistent with it, because I'm sloppy with it, because I haven't been playing. Simple as that. And then when you haven't been playing, you get back on. It's not like just like riding a bike. It's You fuck everything up, and you fuck everything up for like hours <laughs> until you get back to it you know you just gotta like really grind that in there so it becomes second nature now i'm not saying if you stop playing for a while you gotta start from zero it's not that bad it may feel that bad it says you gotta you know does something just fall wow something's loose in there you hear that shit something's loose in there yeah, like, uh, when you get the hang of it, and you stop playing for a while, and you come back, you gotta put maybe like an hour into training mode just on backdash. Uh, another very important thing is do it on both sides. It's very different. It's a very different feeling, even on pad, to do it on both sides. Do it on both sides. There's also, oh, what do you know? Look, look who I'm fighting. Here's a training exercise for your backdash cancel. So what is it? Uh, get out of that. All right. This move is sidestep three. You sidestep and you input a three. And you can kind of do it instantly. Just tap up or down and then hit three right after. Right after tapping up or down. Don't hold it. Just tap and then hit three, right? Or X on the on the uh, PS4 control. Right? So, record. Dash, jab, sidestep three. Instantly. And then hold back. Block the jab. Try to back dash cancel away from it. Ugh, Eddie. See, Eddie has a way above average backdash. So, he's got no problem getting away from that shit. It's really easy, actually. Because the thing is, if you don't backdash cancel, you're going to get hit. You have to backdash once, cancel it, and then backdash again to escape that sweep. I actually made this uh, little guide, little exercise on my YouTube. Here's the catch. Not everyone's able to do this. If you're Gigas, and I will bet if you're a Kuma, you're not doing this. Maybe even Kuma, I don't know, but Kuma has those little ass legs. So he might be weird. But Gigas cannot do this. So yeah. And do that on both the player one and the player two side. See, you got, I'm much more sloppy on the player 2 side. And also, you might as well whiff punish. Just get your whiff punish on, you know? Especially against that fucking move. Because it's really annoying. Right? Anyway. So, AOP duck beats the back 2. But regular AOP loses the back 2. We got that. Confirmed. No problem. Glad I come. Okay. Um, he 
He has a follow-up hit to that, doesn't he? This is... I know he has a follow-up hit to some sort of mid-kick. Good move. 37 damage. I mean, you know, what else is there to say about it? You fight against Eddie, be prepared for this move because he has no mid. He doesn't, he, he has to go high if he, if he follows up the first hit. Um, it is also a negative 9, so it's not like it's amazing on block. Not hit confirmable. Definitely not. 100% not hit confirmable. Next. Ah, 13 frame mid knee. We all know this is all about the follow up. Now you could, he can delay the follow up, but it is not counter hit confirmable. It's not hit confirmable at all. He can confirm that he did the hit and do the second hit, but you're going to be able to block it. That's what I'm saying. And if he puts any sort of delay on it, even if the first hit does counter hit, it will not combo. It is negative eight though. It's just that delay will fuck with you if you swing at him after blocking the first hit. But remember, negative 14 with the relaxed roll. Float him with a 14 frame or faster. You can also hit him with something slower, but it won't float him. It's so like a stomp or something. Right, so 13 frame, counter hit tool right here for good damage. That's a whatever, I don't know. Ah, there it is. This is what I thought was attached to this. Because I remember I had a weird input. Here's your actual 13 frame Punisher too, by the way. Mid. Back three, forward. This is actually unsafe on block, I think. Yeah, negative 14 on block. I think this might be hit crumble. Yeah. Yeah, that's a confirmable. Weird. Forward after the knee hits. I mean, maybe. Difficult hit confirm. Either way it goes, this could be your 13 frame Punisher too. For mid. Instead of this shit, which sucks, right? So anyway, there's that. Ah, good old knockdown high. This is basically... Yep. This is basically the same high that comes out of down back 3-4. It's just the, the high by itself. Where if it knocks back, if it hits at a weird angle, it'll just knock back. But if it hits kind of on axis, you get a juggle. Go into the low. Oh shit! And then he could go low high.
This one is not a natural combo, and just holding back makes it whiff. That's really why it's there. So it's not like down back 3-4, which is a natural combo on its own. One that he could keep looping, right? It is. Thought so. I forgot about this. It loops into itself. So, um, 14 frame would exchange with this, with the flip, with the first flip. Thirteen frames exchange with the second flip. Uh, also, the second flip is negative thirteen. It, maybe sidestep it if you can sidestep. Eddie can. Oh, he can. <laughs> Same shit here. If you go right into it like that, same rules. Okay, and I'm assuming he could just do. Yep. So out of that first split, you could hold down and go into relax. So then the question becomes how good is that? Shit. Oh my god, negative 16. I think Brian's down back two might float this. Or his down three will. Down back three will float this. So you, you even Brian can float this. So this shit is super risky. 
But if it hits you, you stay grounded. So his mix-up, he probably does. He probably gets the the low guarantee. If I already guess, the relax three. Okay, I did that. I went through that already. Uh, all right, 65 out of what? 65 out of... We go up to the throws. Oh, handstand. Real deal. <laughs> 65 out of <laughs> 150, basically. And then the throws. Oh boy. <laughs> this is going to be a three parter for sure. Just like Master Raven. Holy shit. Fuck me. Yeah, uh, this is definitely going to be a three parter, guys. But I think that's a good place to call it. What time is it? Yeah, 8.12. Good place to call it. So, yeah, I'm going to call it there. I might speak to Yakuza later. Uh, part 2 of this, uh, Wednesday. I'm committing to Wednesday to do part 2 of this. Uh, this is going to be uploaded to the YouTube later. So, if you guys want to repeat that shit. But, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you come back later, I'll see you later. Otherwise, hope you have a good night. Be easy. All that good stuff. Laters.